Waigu Ji Kalsa, Waigu Ji Kifate. So happy to see everyone here today. Um, I mentioned to a few of the kiddos um, that logged in a little bit earlier that it's great to see so many of you on today. It's been a long time since I've seen you guys. I'm uh, really impressed, though, that so many of you have kept up with your morning Nathanaim or your other Cynthia classes and things like that. It's great to see. Um, we are going to start our program now. Um, some of our friends haven't joined yet, so I made some edits. I think everyone can see the um, Google Sheet on the side of the bot. So if you see your name, please just jump on in um, and start um, with bot. So we're going to start with the Rup Korji um, and we'll begin. Wai Guji Ka Khalsa, Wai Guji Ki Fateh. So the Raga Samahala Pala Ekun Ka Shukur Pesad, So the Kira Kera So the Kira Jit Pesad of Somali, Vajit Kirena the Nek Sanka, Kete Tere Kavan Hare, Kete Tere Rakri, So Kahen Kete Tere Kavan Hare, Government of no pond funny best and government of no pond funny best and the Gabe Ajatarum Duare, government of no Chetupatrik Chane, Lilla Karimbichare, government of no Isar Burma Devi, Son Teres Rasavare, government of no in Ibras and Bethe, Ted Yadnale, government of no Sitsamadi under government of no Sapichare, government of no Jetisatis and Toki, government of no Vilkirare, government of no Punish Parnaki, Sir Jojo Vedanale. Government of no Mohania Manmon, Sulka Machiale, Government of Nuratnu Pai Tere, Atsati Ratnale, Government of no Jod Mahabusura, Government of no Kani Tare, Government of no Khan Mando Brema Dakar of Ketere Tare, Say to no Government Jot of Pavan the Tetere Pakrasale, Port Kate of no Government Samachak Naya Van Namikia Bichare, Soy Soes the Asat Sai, Sacha Sachinai, Happy Hosi, Jaina Rasi, China Chinachai. Rangi Rangi Pati Kalka Jinsi Maya Jinupai Kalka de Keki Tapana Jet to see over the eye. So this father so I can see for a Kamaka Najai. So Pasha Sahapat Sab Nadi Granajai Asa Mela Pella Sun Vada Akha Sabgoi gave it Vada Dita Hoi Kimat Pai Nakahi Ajai Kehana Valle Tere Rehe Samai Vade Mere Sahiba. Gehed Gumbira, Guni Gehira, Koi, Najane, Tera Keta, Gaver Jira, Rahau, Sub Surti, Mil Surt Kumai, Sub Kimut, Mil Kimut Pai, Diani, Diani, Gur Gurhai, Keher Najai, Teri Til Vadiai, Sub Sat, Sub Tap, Sub Changyaya, Sida Purka, Kia Vadiaya, Tut Vin Sidi, Kina Napaya, Karam Mila Nahi Takurahaya Akhanwala Kya Vichara Sifti Pare Tere Pandara Jistu De Tse Kya Chara Nanak Sach Savaranhara Asama Asama La Pella Akhajiva Vistamar Jao Akhan Okha Sachana Sachi nam ki lage pook, put pook hai kai chaliya, kai chaliya dukh. So kyo visre meri maaye, sacha sahib sacha nae rhao. Sache naam ki tel vadi aai, aakh tukhe ki mat nahi paai. Jais mil gaya aakhan paaye, vada na huwa kaat na jaye. Na umar hai na huwa soog, didar hai na chukha poog. Gun e ho hur na hi koye, na ko hoa na ko hoye. Jewad aap, tewad teri daat, jindan kar kya ki ti raat. Khasam sara te kam jat, na nak na wa baj suna. Na gudshri mahala jota, har kaya jan sat kur sat pur kha bano gro kur paas. Ham ki rea kram sat kur sunay kar dea na prakas. मेरे मित कर दे मोको राम ना प्रकाश कर मत ना मेरा प्राण सखाए हर कीरत हमरी रे रास रहा हर जन के बड़ पाक डेरे जिन हर हर सदा हर प्यास हर हर नाम रे तृप्ता साहब न संगत कुन प्रकाश जिन हर 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 इस नाम न पाया ते बाकी चिम पास जो सतगुरु शरण संगत के आए तृप्त जीवा तृप्त जीवास जिन हर जन सतगुरु संगत पाए तन तुर मस्तक लिखा लखा तन तन सतसंगत थर उस पाया नो जे नानक नाम प्रकाश गुजरी मेला पंचवा काहे रेमन चितवे उदम जा हर जियो हर जियो परिया सैल पत्थर में जंत पाए ताका रिजक आगे कल तरिया मेरे माधो जी सत संगत मिले सो तरिया 
गुर प्रसाद परम पद पाया सुख काष्ट हरिया रहा जनन पिता लोक सत बनता कोई न किसकी तरिया सिर से रचक संभाहे ठाकुर काहे मन पौ करिया उड़े उड़ उड़े उड़ आवे से कोसा तिस पाछे बछरे चरिया तिन कवन खलावे कवन जुगावे मन में सिमरन करिया सब निदान दस अस सिदान ठाकुर कर तल तरिया जन नानक बल बल सद बल जाइए तेरा अंत न पारा वरिया रागा समला चौथा सो परक एक ओंकार सतगुरु प्रसाद सो परक निरंजन हर परक निरंजन हर गमा गम पारा सब त्यावे सब त्यावे तो जी हर सच्चे सृजन हारा सब जी तुम्हारे जी तुंजिया का दातारा हर त्यावो संतो जी सब दुख पिसारण हारा हरा पे ठाकुर हरा पे सेवक जी क्या नानक चंद बेचारा तू कट कट अंतर शरम निरंतर जी हर एक को परक समाना एक ताते एक पे खारी जी सब तेरे चोज बढ़ाना तू आपे दाता आपे भुगतान जी हो तो हम तुद बिन अवरना जाना तू पार ब्रह्म बेअंत बेअंत जी तेरे क्या गुणा को खाना जो सेवा जो सेवा तो जी जन नानक तिन कुर्बाना हर त्यावे हर त्यावे तो जी से जन जुग मैं सुखवासी से मुकत से मुकत पे जन हर त्याया जी तिन टूटी जम की फासी जिन निरपौ जिन हर निरपौ त्याया जी तिन का पौ सब गवासी जिन सेवया जिन सेवया मेरा हर जी ते हर हर रूप समासी से तन से तन जिन हर त्याया जी जन नानक तिम्बल जासी तेरी पगत तेरी पगत पंडार जी परे बेअंत बेअंता तेरे पगत तेरे पगत सलाहन तो जी हर अनेक अनेक अनंता तेरी अनेक तेरी अनेक करें हर पूजा जी तब तापे जपे बेअंता तेरे अनेक तेरे अनेक पढ़ें बो सिमृत सासत जी करके कर 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 क्रिया खट कर्म करंता से पगत से पगत पले जन नानक जी जो पावे मेरे हर भगवंता दो आद पर अपना पर करता जी तो जेवर अवर न कोई तू जुग जुग एको सदा सदा तू एको जी तू नेचल करता सोई तो आपे पावे सोई वरते जी तू आपे करे सोहे तो आपे श्रेष्ठ सब उपाय जी तो आपे सिर्ज सब कोए गोई जन नानक गुण गा वे करते के जी जो सबसे का जानो असम मल्ला चौथा तू करता सच यार मैं डसाए जो तू पावे सोई थी सी जो तू दे सोए हो पाए रहो सब तेरी तू सम लिखी आई है जिसने कृपा करे ते नाम रतन पाया गुरमुग लादा मन गवाया तो ता को छोड़या आप मलाया तू अंदर और से तो छी माए तुझ बिन दूजा कोई नहीं जी जल से तेरा खेल विजो ने छोड़या संजोगी ने जिसने तू जनाए सोए जिन जाने हर गन सभी आप खाने जिन हर सेविया तुन सुख पाया सर जी यह हर नाम सुनाया तू आपे करता तेरा किया सब होए तुझ में दूजा वरना कोई तू कर कर वेखे जाने सोए जिन नाने गुरमत पढ़ कर होए सा मेला पहला तेत सर वरे पहले नवासा पानी पावक तिने किया हम कुछ मोह पग नहीं चले हम देखे ते डूबिये ले मन एक ना चेतस मोर मना और बिसरत तेरे गुनगले रहाओ ना हो जति सती नहीं पड़ी है मूर्ख मुग्धा जन्म पया पंडवत नानक तिन की सरना जंतु ना ही विसरया भई परापत मानव ते हरिया गोबिंद मिलन की ए तेरी बरिया और काश्ते रे किते न काम मिल साथ संगत बच के वन नाम शरण जाम लग पव चल तरंग कह जन्म प्रथा जात रंग माया कह जब तप संजम तरम नाक माया सेवा साध न जाने हर आया कौ नानक हम नीच कर मा शरण परे की राखो शर्मा पाठशाही दसवीं कवि और बाश में दी चौपाई हमरी को हाथ दे रक्षा पूर्ण हो चित की इच्छा तब चरण मन रहे हमारा अपना जान करो प्रति पारा हमरे दुष्ट बै तुम गावो आप हद दे मोए बचावो सुखी बसे मोरो परिवार सेवक सिख सब करता रहा मोर अच्छा निज कर दे करिए सब हरण को आज संगरिए पूर्ण हो हमारी आशा दौर भजन की रह प्यासा तुम्हें शाड़ को अपनाते हो जो पर चाहो सो तुमते पाओ सेवक सिख हमारे तारिये छिन छिन छत्र हमारे मारिये आप हाथ दे मुझे अपरिये मरण काल कत रास्ते भरिये हो जो सदा हमारे पच्छा श्री अर्जुन जो करे और अच्छा 
नमस्कार है ताई हमारा जमन का सर जगत बनायो देवता चक्षण उपजायो आद अंत खे अवतारा सोई करो समझियो हमारा नमस्कार तेसी को हमारे सकल प्रजा जनाब सवारी सिरकन को सुकुन सुखती हो सतन को पल मोहब्बत की हो कट कट के अंतर की चांदर बोले बुरे की पीर पछाण चीटी थे खुंजर स्थूला सब पर कृपा दिस खर फूला संतन दुख पाए थे दुखी सुख पाए साधन के सुखी एक एक की पीर पछाणे कट कट के पट पट की जाने जब करख करा कर तारा प्रजा तरफ तब दे अपारा जबा करख करत हो कब हूँ तुम्हें मिले ते दर सब हूँ जिदे बदन सिर सब तारे आप अपनी बूझ चारे तुम सब ही तेरे निरालम जानन भेद भेद और आलम निरंकार निर्विकार निलम्ब आद नील अनाद असम्भ ताका मूर अचारत भेदा जाको पेद न पावत भेदा ताको करपा हन उन्मानत महा मूर कछ भेद न जानत महादेव को कह सदा शिव निरंकार का छीनत ने बेव आप अपनी बुध है जेती बनत पिन पिन तुवे तेती तुमरा लखन जाय पसार के बिछ जा प्रथम संसार एक है रूप अनूप स्वरूप अरंख पे और आखनी बुपा अंडस जेरस से तस्कीनी उत्पुज खान बहरसिनी कौं हो राजा हो बैठा कौं समर व्यव संगर खेठा सगरी शीर्ष दिखाए अचंभव आज जुगात स्वरूप से अम्भव अब्रछा मेरी तुम करो सिख उबार असिख संगरो दुष्ट जिते उत्वत उत्पाता सकल मिलेच कर रण गाता जे अस्तुज तब श्रणी परे तिनके दुष्ट दुखित हवे मरे पुरख जवन पग परे त्यारे तिनके तुम संकट चपटारे जो कल को एक बार त्याय है ताकि काल निकट ने ऐ है रचा होए ताहाय सब काला दुष्ट अरस तरन तत्काल कृपा दृष्ट तन जाय ने हरयो ताके ताप तनक मोहर हो रिद सिद्ध कर्मो सब होए दुष्ट छाव छवे सके न कोए एक बार जिन तुम्हे सिंवारा काल फास्ते ताए उबारा जिन्ना नाम तिहारो कहा तारे दे दुष तोक ते रह खड़े के केत में शरण तिहारी आप हाथ ले उबारी सर्व ठोर मोह साई दुष्ट तोक ते ले बचाए रामकली महला तीजा आनंद एक ओंकार सतगुर प्रसाद आनंद पाया मेरी माए सतगुरु मैं पाया सतगुरता पाया साहित सिति मन वचिया वधाया राग रतन पर वार परिया शब्द गावण आया शब्दोता गावो हरि के राम मंजनी वसाया कह नानक आनंद हुआ सतगुरु मैं पाया ए मन मेरे आ तू सदा रहो हरनाले हरनाल रहो तू मन मेरे दुख सब विसारना अंगीकारो करे तेरा कारज सब सवारना सब नागला समृत स्वामी सो क्यों मन विसारे कह नानक मन मेरे सदा रहो हर नाले साचे साहेबा क्या नहीं करते रह करता तेरे सब किच है जिस ते सो पावे सदा सिर्फ सलाह तेरी नाम मन बसावे नाम जिनका मन वसया वाचे शब्द कनेरे कह नानक सचे साहेब क्या नहीं करते रह साचा नाम मेरा अदारो साच नाम अदार मेरा जिन पुखा सब गवाया कर शांत सुख मन आय विसया जिन इच्छा सब पुजाया सदा कुर्बान की ता गुरु विटो जिस दिया ए वडियाया कह नानक सुनो संतो शब्द तरो प्यारो साचा नाम मेरा अदारो वाचे पंच बतत कार सबागे कार सबागे शब्द वाचे कल्ला जित कर तारिया पंच दूत दुवास कीते काल कंट कमारया दुर करम पाया तु जिन को से नाम हर के लागे कह नानक ता सुख होआ तित करे अनहत वाजे अनच न वट पागी ओ सगम नो रत पूरे पार ब्रह्म पाया उतरे सगल विसूरे दुख रोग संताप उतरे सुनी सच्ची वाणी संत साजन पे सर से पूरी करते जानी सुनते पुनीत कहते पवित सत गुरे आ पर पूरे बिन वंत नानक को चरण लागे वाजे अनहत तुरे दावनी मेला पंचा थाल विच तिन वस्तु पयो सत संतोख विचारो अमित नाम ठाकुर का पयो जिसका सब सुधारो जेको खावे जेको पूंजा तिसका होए उधारो एहो ए वस्त जी ने जाई नित नित रखो तारो तम संसार चरण लग तरिए सब नानक ब्रह्म पसारो श्लोक महला पंचवा तेरा कीता जातो नाही मेनो जोक तोए मैं निर्गुण यारे गोगना ही आपे तरस पियो 
Tässä pää meillä on tuossa kurssetin meliä, nanik namilita jiva tän mantiva haria. Tässä pää meillä on tuossa kurssetin meliä, nanik namilita jiva tän mantiva haria. Vai kyrjika kausa, vai kyrjiki fate. Vai kyrji ramkli kivar, rai balvand tatha satadum aki ik onkar satkur prasad. नाव करता का दर करे क्यों बोल हो वह जो खीव दे दे गुना सत पैन प्राव है पार अंगत दान पड़ीव दे नानक राज चलाया सच कोट सतानी नीव दे लहने तर्यों छत्र छत सिर कर सिफ्ती अमृत पीव दे मत कुर आतम देव दी खड़क जोर परा कोई जी दे कुर चेले रह रास की ही नानक सलामत थी दे सट कान दितोस जी दे लैने दी फड़ाई है नानक का दोही कट्टी है जोत ओहा जगत सार सा काया फेर सलटी है जुले सो चक रंजनी मन तक बैठा गर हट्टी है करे जगर फरमाया सर जोग अनुनी चट्टी है मंगर चले गर शबद हर तोषन आवी कट्टी है खर्चे दित कसम दी आप खै दी खै दुबट्टी है हो वैसिफ्त कसम दी नूर अरसो कर तो दिखे सच्चे पाथ शाह मन जन्म जन्म दी कट्टी है सच जे गर फरमाया कियो ए दु बोलो हट्टी है तुरी को न पालियो कर पीरो कर मुरत्ती है दिल खोटे आखी फिरन मन पाड उचाएं ठट्टी है जन आखी सोए करे करे तन की कीती तन ने ठट्टी है कोन हाड़े के ओ बट्टी है जिन की थी सो मनना को साल जवा है साली तरम राय है देवता लह कल्ला करे दलाली सदगुर आखे सच्चा करे सा बात होवे दरहाली गुर अंगद दी दोही फरी सच करता बंद बहाली नानक काया पलट कर मल तक बैठा सै डाली दर सेवे उम्मत खड़ी मुश्किल ले होए जंगाली दर दरवेस खसम दे नए सच्चे वाणी लाली बलवंड खीवी नेक जान जिस बहुती छ पतराली लंगर दौलत वंडिया दस अमृत खीर के आली गुर सखा के मुख उजले मनमुख थिए पराली पे कंबोल खसम नाल जा काल मरती काली माता खीवी सोह सोए जिन गोए उठाली और यो गंग वहाय दुनियाए आखे कि क्यों नानक ईश्वर जगन्नाथ ओ हदी उच हदी रन वृखियोन माता ना पर्वत कर नेत्र वासिक शब्द रे रखियोन चोदे रतन ने कालियन कर आवा गुण चलकियोन कुदरत एवे कालियन जिन एवट बिठ ने क्यों लेने तर तरियोन छत्र सिर आसमान घ्यारा च क्यों जोत समानी जोत माए आप आपे सिति म क्यों सिखा पुत्र को के सब उम्मत उम्मत देखो जे क्यों जा सा तोस त लेना टिट क्यों फेर वसाया फेरो आन सकर खाडूर जब जब तब संजम नाल तो होर मच गुरूर लव बिना है मानसा जो पानी बूर वरिय दरगे गुरु की कुदरती नूर जित सो हाथ न लवी तू ओठरूर नानक नाम निदान है तुत विच भरपूर निंदा तेरी जो करे सो वनिय चूर नेरे दिसे नेरे दिसे मात लोग तुत सजे दूर फेर वसाया फेरो आन सतगुर खाडूर सोटका सो भैणा सो दीवान पियो दादे जे वहा पोता प्रवान जिन बासिक ने त्रै कतिया कर नहीं तान जिन सुमन विरोलिया कर मेर मदान जो दरत ने कालियन की तोन छणान कोरा की तो सजदा जत कियो फलान तणक चिरायो सत दा जस हंदा बाण कल विच तू अंधार सा चढ़या चढ़या रा पाण सतो खेत जमायो सतो छावान नेत्र सोई तेरी है क्यों मैं दा खान चारे कुंडा सुजियो सुमन मै शब्द परवान अव को निवारयो कर न दनी सान ओ तरिया ओ तार ल सुपुरख सजान चक्कर चखड़ वा न डोलई पर्वत में रान जाने बिरथा जी की जानी हो जान क्या साला ही सच बादशाह जा तू सुगर सजान दान जे सत कृपा उसी सो सते दान नानक खंदा छत्र सिर उमत हैरान सो टिका सो बैणा सुई दी बाण पियो दा दे जे वहा पोतरा परवान तन तन राम दास करे जिन सरया तने सवारया पूरी होई करामात आप सृजन हारे तारया सिखी अत संगति पार ब्रह्म कर नमस्कारया 
अटल अथाह अतोल तू तेरा अंत ना पारा वरिया जिनी तू सेव्या भाव कर से तो दुपार उतारिया लाभ लोभ काम क्रोध मोह मार कड्डे तो सपर वरिया धन सो तेरा थान है सच तेरा पैस कारिया नानक तू लेना तू है गुर अमर तू विचारिया गुर डठा ता मन साधारिया चारे जगे चोज घी पंचाए आपे हो आपे ने आप साजे और आपे ही थम खलो आपे पट्टी कलम आप आप लिखन हार हो सब उम्मत आवन जावनी आपे ही नवा निरो तखत बैठा जिन गुरु सतगुर का के बै चुंदा हुआ उग बनो ते हाथ बनो जो चक्की की न लोआ जिनी गुरु न सेवा मन मुखा पियो मोआ दूनी चौनी करमात सच्चे का सच्चा टवा चारे जागे चोज घी पंचाए आपे हो Wahidu ji ka khalsa, Wahidu ji ki fateh. Um, just wanna, we'll go ahead and begin our program um, with our panel discussion today. Um, today we have Jabman Kaur as our moderator with our panelists being Sankbir Singh, Jaspreet Kaur, and Charanpreet Singh. Um, <clears throat> other than that, Jabman Kaur, if you'd like to go ahead. Wahidu ji ka khalsa, Wahidu ji ki fateh. Um, I'd first just like to thank everyone for joining. As Mandeep Raji said to all of you in the beginning, um, it's very inspiring to see the Sangat that you guys have built over the past few months virtually, uh, seeing you guys join for Nitinam every morning and Vichara sessions, weekly basis. It's very wonderful and we're really happy that all of you are here today to take part in this discussion. Um, just a quick note, uh, this is being streamed on YouTube as well, um, but the discussion is being catered towards our younger brothers and sisters today um, to answer some of their questions and to um, have them understand what's going on in Punjab right now, what's going on in India. and. Um, you know, the, the floor will be open for you all to ask questions as well throughout the discussion. So I just want everyone to be aware that, you know, others may be uh, watching it on YouTube, but I think that uh, there will be a lot to gain from the discussion. Our panelists um, have brought all of their own insights into the discussion, and I'm sure all of your questions will also help, uh, you know, make sure that all of the topics that we would like to discuss today are addressed. Um, so I guess I will start off um, by requesting uh, Jaspreet Benji if she can do a Shabad, um, a Binti Shabad. We like to try to start off um, things like this, discussions like this with a Binti Shabad because all of us are just bringing our thoughts and opinions here, but uh, we are very imperfect. <laughs> so um, we ask for forgiveness from the Sangat, from you all um, in advance, but we do want to do Binti to Maharaj that, you know, Jovi uh, Galvat Garnia, whatever we talk about is according to Gurmat and that we're grounded in Bani and um, that we're all able to have a productive and good discussion. So, um, Jasprit Benji, if you could do the Shabad. Anji. Vaheguru Sahib Ji, O Ik Pankar Satgur Prasad, Tere Kavan Kavan Gun Ke Ke Gawa, Tu Sahib Guni Nidana, Tumri Mehma Barnana Sako, Tu Thakur Uch Pagwana, मैं हर हर नाम तर सोई जो पावे त्यो राख मेरे साहिब मैं तुझ बिन अबर ना कोई रहा मैं तान दीवान तू है मेरे स्वामी मैं तो दयागे अरदास <coughs> मैं होर थाऊ नहीं जिस पे करो बिनंती मेरा दुख सुख तुझ ही पास विच है तरती विच है पानी विच कास्ट अगन तरी जै बकरी सिंग अकते थाए राखे मन हर जप प्रम पव दूर की जै हर की वड़ियाई देखो संतो हर ने मानिया मान दिवाए <coughs> जों तरती चरन तले ते ऊपर आवे 
त्यो नानक साध जना जगत आन सब पैरी पाए <coughs> हर की वड्याई देखो संतो हर ने माणिया मान दिवाए जो धरती चरण तले ते ऊपर आवे त्यो नानक साध जना जगत आन सब पैरी पाए वाहेगुरु जी का खासा वाहेगुरु जी की फतेह um and also banji if you could do the land acknowledgement for today for sure um so we uh, santosh singh and i are joining the call from toronto so we are on the traditional territory of the anishinaabe haudenosaunee and the mississaugas and especially because we are talking about connection to land today um we always talk about we always ask you to reflect on what land you're on and how you got there and hopefully you're going to leave today's conversation with so much love and so much appreciation for land and how it connects to Sikhi that it'll push you that much more to always think about the land that you're on so if you don't know make sure you use the tools you can message one of us we can help you find out what land you're on if you're calling in from anywhere in America or Canada it's safe to say that you're somewhere where the land was taken by violence and you have been able to build a life there and so the fact that our gurdware and our families and our sikhi continues to flourish on this land we have to be we have to acknowledge the violence and the story this land holds thank you so much banji uh we definitely will be exploring uh, more of those thoughts later in the discussion so thank you for starting us off um on that note so uh today's discussion uh we will be answering a lot of questions probably uh going through a lot of facts of things that have happened in the past in our sick history the things that are going on right now and especially focusing on you know the lens that we should be using as we look to the future of this movement of what's going on right now in the farmers protest but also um you know what should be our goal on our minds after that as well so um i want to kind of start off um asking jaran preet veer ji um one of the important uh questions of today could you describe um uh, what is going on in punjab right now um and i guess to break it down a little bit a little bit could you describe the bills that um were proposed and you know the law that was recently passed um thereafter and how that how the protest began um and and then we can slowly uh get to the point that we're at right now um but just if you could give some context i know mandi virji uh passed around a video to all of you kids who are joined today so hopefully you had a chance to watch that but just to give all of us a little bit of a recap jarn preeti ji if you could anji wai guru ji ka khalsa wai guru ji ki fateh all right so basically uh, a couple months ago about in september or so there was three uh laws that were passed in the Indian parliament which affect farmers uh the first law had to do basically with the minimum amount minimum price that a farmer could sell their goods to uh go- goods for um so basically uh, the way the system was working was say a farmer grows wheat or something or whatever else uh the government will guarantee a minimum price that this farmer would get for a ton of say grain or whatever else and that's how farmers would plan out you know their finances or how much money they'll make um so they got rid of that system so basically that's like a safety net uh like a guaranteed income so they got rid of that system uh and then they they're basically saying is that instead of the government controlling how much price uh a farmer would get how much money a farmer would get uh corporations big companies which are controlled by a, a very few people who who hog a, an immense amount of money uh they can uh control the whole situation and determine themselves through their historical greed um and so we we don't believe that they're you know essentially they're not trustworthy from a historical standpoint in order to be fair uh the small level farmers uh so that's that's something that caused an uproar from the farmers they're like we can't trust corporations we need a minimum price at least because these people will just rob us um the second uh part of the law was what if there's ever a dispute between a farmer and a big company or corporation uh the government cannot 
uh, well, it, it be, there is no court cases. The, the farmer is not allowed to go to like a judge and file a court case or anything. That's not allowed. Uh, the law says that the, the argument will just be solved by a politician uh, of that particular region, a, a specific position in government. Uh, and so those people are very uh, susceptible or I don't know what's the susceptible is a better word. Those people can be bribed to not be fair in their judgments toward the small farmer and the corporation uh, or the big company, right? The big company has lots and lots of money so they can be like, hey, I'll give you a little bit of money on the side, just judge the case in our favor and we're, we're, gonna, we're not gonna be in favor of the small person, the small regular person farmer who doesn't have, you know, is not gonna bribe, they're a good hearted person. Uh, third, um, the third part was the fact that I'm blinking out here. What was the third part? The storage without limit. Ah, yeah, cold storage. So basically, this is hard to explain a monopoly, I suppose. Uh, so basically, what 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 the big company can do is, is they can buy up all the rice and the grain and the wheat, and they can put it in a big fridge, like a big warehouse. They can put it there, and they can so they can buy it really cheap from the farmer, and then they can save it all up so they can hog everything and then raise the prices so they can make a lot of money. And everybody else like you and I can't buy it from anywhere else because this big company has a giant fridge and they're hogging all the food. A regular farmer cannot afford to buy a giant refrigerator. So they'll never be able to uh, compete with a big company that will rob the small farmer and then sell the same thing that the farmer actually made at a higher price to people and the farmer won't get anything to sustain themselves, to pay for their food, to pay for their livelihood, to pay for their electricity, to pay for their kids to go to college, all that kind of stuff. So that's that's a small brief uh, in essence of what it's like. I mean, there, there's there's a lot of economics and you know money flow stuff that you guys don't necessarily deal with budgets and stuff yet, you know, but one day you will, right? But Essentially, it's, it's, it's about uh, understanding how much it costs to live, how much your parents are paying uh, to have your house, to have your lights and everything. It's the struggles of our parents, that generation right now. Thank you, Virji, for that summary. Um, I hope that everyone kind of understands what's going on now. And I think that um, as we progress in the discussion, we'll gain a little bit more insight on what's going on. But something that Virji was uh, talking about that um, I think will remain a common theme as we discuss the government's role in all of this is the corruption. And um, sometimes when we hear about corruption, especially on such a large scale, um, it can make us feel very down or helpless or how do you even fight back? How do you even um, stand up against like such a powerful government that's able to, you know, even this MSP that um, Virgie was talking about this, like, you know, fair price that MSP um, is minimum support price. So yeah. I was saying just to tie the acronym with the word. Um, so that's the price that the farmer would get at a minimum for whatever they're selling. Right, right. So even that bare minimum, um, you know, there are farmers that tell stories that even that isn't um, given to them fairly. So even though these laws are taking away their rights and those, um, you know, the the means that they have to be able to support their families already before the laws, there was enough corruption happening um, where they were um, struggling um, as a community. So I guess uh, one of the things before we move into how the protest started is um, I we all felt that it was really important to set the tone correctly for this discussion because while corruption can make us feel kind of powerless against big powers, um, there is just something really unique and beautiful about this movement thus far. And that is the spirit behind it, the spirit of Jardikala. We heard Jardikala so much um, in discussions, you know, we hear it at camps, but I think we can like really see it um, <clears throat> when we're watching some of these videos, especially being so far away from where everything is happening. So um, I did want to show one video of um, all of the farmers and community gathered um, 
and how all of that looks right now and what kind of the vibe is there um, just so that is kind of the tone that we start today's discussion on. So Mandeepaji, if you could like quickly share uh, that video and then we can move on to our, the rest of our discussion. Apologies, technical difficulties on the first video. One minute. Thank you, Virji. So I don't know if everyone could tell, sometimes it's hard, um, but we make do with what we can virtually. Um, but that was um, all of the protesters gathered and there were jagade um, uh, happening and everyone was responding and there was like a really powerful, um, not just imagery, but feeling that you get when you um, watch the video. And one thing I think um, we can do after the panel is, um, especially for you kids, we can send those videos out um, in a follow-up email, just in case you hadn't gotten the chance to watch um, uh, that video in particular thus far. Although um, from what I've gathered uh, from talking to some of you is, uh, everyone's been watching a lot of videos um, and seeing a lot of pictures, which is really, really good to hear. Um, so I guess I wanted to ask uh, Sant Birirji, um if you could give a little bit of context to, you know, now the laws were passed, how did the protests kind of start? Um, and how did they come uh, come to the point that they're at? And John Prithviraj, if you also want to like hop on at some point, uh, you can also address that question. I'm going to let John Prith uh, Singh go first, actually. John Prith, if you could just talk about how the protests began and how we got to this point really quickly. Uh, basically, I mean, it started right away back in Punjab. All the uh, farmers unions in Punjab and everybody who cares, uh, they got together and they started protesting. Um, it had been about two months and pretty much everybody was kind of ignoring them, the people who passed the laws. Uh, they were ignoring that they were upset when they were protesting. And so what they started was they started a caravan. Uh, everybody basically got on their tractors and then they made a giant caravan going 200 kilometers. I think it's 200 kilometers from Jalandhar. Uh, no, that's from Amritsar. Amritsar is 220 kilometers uh, to Delhi. Um, so... I mean, obviously everybody's not in Amritsar, Punjab is pretty big. I think the southern border is like 145 kilometers or something like that. But that's a long, that's a very long way. That's like 145 kilometers in miles is like, uh, I don't know, somebody could do the exact uh, conversion here, but it's like 90 miles or something, maybe 90 to 100 or something around there. Um, somebody's gonna correct me on my math, which is fine. So if somebody could do that, but that's good. But it's, it's a long way, it's not short distance at all. So the, and you know, if you guys have seen a tractor before, a tractor goes like, you know, really slow. It's the same types of tractors that uh, cut your grass. Think about driving that long in a little tractor that cuts your grass, right? So they all got in a big line, like 90,000 of them or something. That's, that's the number I heard. I don't know what the exact count is. I mean, 90,000 tractors from Punjab and in solidarity, uh, farmers from other parts of India also started marching towards Delhi. Uh, but the vast majority and the lead of this march toward Delhi, which they call Delhi Chalo. So if you guys ever get on, if your parents let you get on social media, just look for hashtag Delhi Chalo. And then you'll see a bunch of, uh, you know, really cool pictures of them moving through. Uh, in response, people in power, uh, they, they put up like roadblocks and they try to use water cannons and they were trying to stop them with everything they could. They were using even tear gas. Tear gas makes you cry and your eyes sting and it makes it hard to breathe. 
Um, it doesn't necessarily, uh, you know, fatally hurt you. Like you're not going to die from it or anything, but it's, it's very, very painful and it's made to try to push people back. So it's still unpleasant and not, uh, it's not a cool thing to do. Um, if I say so lightly, uh, so they were doing that. And then, but the farmers, uh, doing jakare and, uh, you know, yelling, dek, dek, fateh, and they were saying, um, center the sarkar, murda, Punjab, uh, murda abad, mera Punjab, Zindabad, uh, which means central government, down with the central government, up with my Punjab. Uh, and these were done by Singhs and callers, you know, Bibiya and everybody, uh, as they were bashing through barricades. And, uh, you yeah, know, there you go. Look at this picture, right? They were getting, you know, hosed on. And this is cold, too. It's not... Uh, not a fun time so it was very difficult it was basically uh, uh, a non-lethal battle uh, it was it was a battle of like wits and guts and they were using jakare and uh, you know if you if you there's a lot of videos of people talking about sick history and how like comparing their their struggle to our past and like you know we're trying to fight for our livelihood and our, our ability to continue living free uh, so you know, we're just, we're, we're nothing compared to our great Shaheeds. And just like our Shaheeds, we're willing to try to live up to them. Um, so that's in, in essence how it started. And then we got, they got to Delhi and, uh, you know, just a, you know, bunch of meager six with their little tractors and their pitchforks uh, were able to, uh, you know, make the powers, the power, people in power, the Indian government so scared that they called the entire army with tanks and big machine guns and stuff to try to stop a bunch of six with tractors and pitchforks, um, which is our history though, at the end of the day. And, uh, and they were able to uh, get, get in a position to actually negotiate with the government. So now the government's actually negotiating with them. Uh, that's in essence what's, and the negotiations are ongoing till now, uh, but the farmers might put on more pressure. So that's in, in essence how we got from September till now there is even a further history back that, you know, uh, that court that uh, correlates with, you know, farmers issues and livelihood and economic issues of Punjab in the six, but, you know, the percentages are really important. Uh, a vast majority of the farmers, I think it's like close to 90% uh, of the farmers of Punjab are uh, six. Uh, so, you know, this is in essence, our family that is fighting for their livelihood. So it, it it's a huge part of, uh, in their hearts, they're six. So, you know, they're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna use their way of life, their lifestyle, when they're fighting any sort of oppression or attack on their livelihood. So, thank you for that, John Precinct. That was really great, um, kids. I want you to really think about this idea that uh, Baji was explaining so uh, powerfully. This idea, uh, this image of just a huge train of people, a mass of humanity coming out of Punjab and into Delhi. N nothing has been seen like this in recent history. This amount of people marching together peacefully, coming to the capital like that, and now making camp in Delhi. So six have essentially taken over a part of Delhi and they have turned it into a camp and they're running lungers and they are um, doing seva and they're feeding even the people who are already living in Delhi, the poor people or other people who need food. And people are being transformed. Regular uh, Delhiites, many of them non-Sikhs, of course, are really amazed. And they're like, we didn't understand what Sikhs were about or what Sikhs could do or what Sikhs were capable of. And now we're just amazed and blown away. The fact that these are people who are literally sleeping underneath their trucks and trailers in the cold uh, and it gets really cold in Punjab and Delhi in the winter time uh, and there's no insulation they're sleeping outside and they are uh, and and they are creating a sick atmosphere that picture that Mandeep Singh just shared is a beautiful image it is them doing asakivad out of the back of a truck. And that's what's happening. We're having Asakivar, we're having, um, uh, we're having. They're gonna share the Asakivar video. Okay. 
We're having Asakivar, we're having um, uh, Lungers, we're having Rensbais, we're having uh, Gurmat programs, we're having speeches, we're having Tadivara. It's just this epic Mila, essentially, that six have created. And one thing that we wanted you guys to leave with, because we've seen a lot of protests in the last year in America, some very important protests over Black Lives Matter issues. And those protests have been very important and very powerful. But one big difference you'll find between those protests and Sikh protests is that Chardikala, is that they are in high spirits, that even, you know, being soaked by these water cannons, choking on tear gas, they're keeping their spirits up and they are doing seva and they are committed to this program to the end. So we're going to take a second and show a little bit of that footage of Asakiwa. So you can see in this image, they're literally on the side of the road. And that's what over 100,000, some people are saying 150, 200,000 six, mainly six, are camped out on the streets of Dili. It's like a town, a town's worth of people are there. And they are essentially have laid siege to Dili. Thank you, Virji. Um, I know when Jasprit Gore and I were discussing these videos um, and which ones we want to show, this one really um, spoke to us because both of us, some of our favorite memories in Punjab are those uh, the pinned speakers, hearing the part, hearing the kirtan going on. And um, when we heard this Asa Kivar, that's, um, that's the feeling we got. And it is really beautiful the culture that's being brought um, into this movement, the feeling of just, there is a struggle happening and there is a movement, but there is no sign of this tendikala or feeling defeated. It's more like, we're here, you have to face us and you have to listen to our demands and you have to, you did something wrong here. And there, and that determination is really beautiful. And we're gonna talk a little bit about um, what gives, um, what is inspiring these um, uh, movements and protests that have been happening. Um, but before we move on to that, I did want uh, Santi Virji to discuss something important here. We're seeing, um, these farmers acting in such grace and such um, strength, but I kind of wanted him to discuss with you guys the quality of life and livelihood of the farmers um, over the past few decades. What have they been going through even before these laws? Just to kind of give us a context of what their day-to-day -day life is and what brought them to this point. So Virgi, if you could touch on that quickly. One thing to remember, guys, is that our ancestors, most of our ancestors, uh, those of us who come from uh, Punjab, um, have at some time in the past been farmers. And that land of Punjab has been farmed for thousands of years. It's one of the birthplaces of agriculture. It's literally one of the places where people first figured out how to farm. And so farming has incredibly deep roots in the soil of Punjab. What happened in the 1960s is that American companies and organizations pushed for new types of seeds that required a lot of water and a lot of fertilizer. And these seeds had to be bought by these big companies. And this was pushed as a way to make the farms more successful, to make them be able to feed people more, to make uh, the people be able to um, um, uh, to, to produce more grains and rice, more wheat and rice for the rest of India. But the problem was increased pesticide use has led to all sorts of health problems in Punjab. 
Increased water usage has led to the desertification of Punjab, where the water table is going down. These are a lot of big, complicated ideas. But what you need to know, essentially, is that ecologically, Punjab has been suffering because of Western-imposed ideas of farming. At the same time, the central government has been uh, uh, robbing Punjab, robbing Punjab of hydroelectrical power, um, money from our, our rivers, and robbing Punjab in terms of not investing in the state. So Punjab's education systems and other systems are really not comparable to some places, other parts of India. And so Punjab went from being this very wealthy, affluent state to now being the type of state where everyone wants to leave. And over the last few decades, we have this exodus of young people from Punjab who are leaving to find a better life elsewhere because they have no opportunities in Punjab. And at the same time in Punjab of small farmers, because they have to buy all this expensive stuff, because they have to buy expensive equipment, falling into debt. And when they fall into debt, they see no way out. And unfortunately, this is not something that's, of course, a difficult topic to talk about with young kids, but it's a reality of, of Punjab right now, is that there's a high level of farmer suicides. So Punjabi farmers are at a place where they are really um, on the edge of a cliff if they haven't already fallen over. So economically, ecologically, socially, Punjab farming has been under attack by the central government for the last 40, 50, sorry, 60 years. And that has led to all sorts of problems in Punjab, like high amounts of drug use and alcoholism, which then leads to high levels of assault and domestic violence. And all of these social problems that arise when a, when a community is not doing well. When a, when, a, when a society is not doing well. And Punjab is, is a society that hasn't been doing well for a while. So these protests, while they're specifically about those three bills, they also are a lot of pent up energy and frustration from decades of mismanagement by the center in terms of how uh, Punjabi farmers have been treated. Uh, so I think that's one thing to keep in mind or a few you. things. I'd like to actually go back a little bit further as well. Um, before the 60s and 70s, when farming became the main thing, and farming wasn't always the main thing in Punjab, this, the, this green revolution that happened with this whole the seeds and the fertilizer use and the excess use of water, uh, this is all part of uh, something that you guys maybe will read more in depth as you get older, it's called the green revolution. Um, before that, uh, since Punjab was essentially, you know, cut in half, the, the old Punjab, the Punjab region between India and Pakistan, uh, Punjab lost a lot of its uh, diverse types of work and industry, uh, you know, different types of things that, you know, was almost, the land is almost three times the size of what it is right now. I'd say it's even larger. I don't, I don't know the numbers off the top of my head, but basically half of Pakistan or, or most of Pakistan was Punjab. Um, so, you know, by losing the diverse, you know, uh, the diverse, you know, types of jobs you can get and the, the diverse amount of industry, uh, the the idea came about, you know, to just to make this side of Punjab, what, what the Punjab is left now, where six were the majority, was to make this the breadbasket, which is essentially led to this uh, green revolution thing. So it was like, all right, you guys lost a lot of your land, lost a lot of your jobs, we're going to make farming the big thing. Uh, and this is part of this green revolution not only was this water and pesticides and all this stuff, but it was a lot of flattening the land, destroying a lot of natural hills, cutting a lot of trees down, you know, ecological environmental destruction uh, in, in order to support this new farming uh, culture, so to speak. So basically a lot of Sikhs and farmer and Punjabis in general were forced into a very specific type of job due to the, due to the history that happened. Uh, and then on top of that, as Bud, uh, as Buddy was saying, these uh, these injustices and the in the mismanagement with the, the seeds and the pesticides and the exploitation that put the little farmers in a bad place occurred after that. So it's it's kind of like a long line of things that have occurred that got us to today. That uh, you know, it's it's not just these three builds. There's a lot. A huge history is what we're basically trying to allude to here. 
it's not a, a sudden thing all of a sudden. It's a very interconnected thing that goes back, I'd say, you know, close to 100 years. Thank you, Virgie. Um, both of you uh, explained all of that really well, but I did want um, one thing that stood out to me that Sanpir Virgie mentioned was um, kind of the state of uh, farmers, but even the people of Punjab, the youth of Punjab. I think one common theme I've heard um, a lot of my elders talking about in this issue is there's nothing left there but now look now look at all of this going on and that's something we've heard a lot over the past couple of years people will look at you know kids like us here and be like oh you guys are the future like there's nothing left in Punjab um and I kind of wanted to ask like now there's this like huge movement happening. Um, if John Prithviji, you could start addressing this question, who's leading the protest? How did this happen? If we were a community in Punjab that we ourselves thought that our people back home are powerless, they have nothing, they're you know drowning in like drugs and farmer suicide and corruption from the government, who's leading the movement? How did this come to be? I mean, I I don't, I don't think anybody can really point to any single individual. This is a Sangat Morcha. This is a, the Sangat coming together and pushing for something that affects everybody. So they they kind of uh, they kind of took in the spirit of Sarab, right? So we like to talk about Sarab Samti or Sarabat Khalsa. The Sarbat was affected and they together collectively did something without any specific one individual as a head. Uh, there's actually several different people that are heads that are coming together, uh, which is actually Sikh history. Uh, this obsession with like one individual leading, uh, I'd, I'd argue is a very recent history phenomenon, maybe like, you know, since colonial period, I don't know, maybe since the empire, I don't know. But uh, traditionally, uh, the, the concept of having one person in charge of everything was kind of alien to, to, to the Khalsa at its inception, because it's like, we are collectively one and together, and it's our collective uh, togetherness that pushes any type of movements forward. Thank you, Virgie. Um, and I think uh, the reason why that question was so important is because we're so used to seeing like one leader and uh, looking up to one leader. Yeah, but absolutely. It's it's seeing that, that thing alive. Like right. I, from what I've read, I haven't seen something like that, like a Sangat without like a person or like a particular small, like five people that you're only looking at every day. It's, right. it's like a Sangat thing. And you're just like, wow, that's, <laughs> that's amazing. Yeah. Um, that this idea of, uh, this movement being led by the community, it really is like the leader of the movement is the spirit of the gurus, is the spirit of Sarbat Dapala, sorry. And um, this idea that this is affecting such a large number of people and nobody needed a leader. No, Everyone went back to their roots and realized the sovereignty and self-determination that all of them had to stand up against uh, this law. So... Thank you for explaining that so wonderfully. Um, if I could say something really quick, sure. uh, I think that the Sikhi that Guru Nanak Sahib Ji planted in the Punjabi people is not easily gotten rid of. So what we saw for the last 30 years wasn't the death of Sikhi in Punjab. It was a trauma response to horrible human rights abuses that the community suffered. And that horrible human rights abuses really managed to dampen the community, dampen the spirits of the community, but it was always going to come roaring back. And we saw over the last few years, a few incidents like the Guru Granth Sahib Ji Biadvi issue, the Rajwana um, uh, Orange campaign that happened, that there were these brief sparks that were starting to come up or the Sarbat Khalsa that happened, that the Punjabi people, as much as we in the diaspora sometimes um, look down on them or think of them as pitiful, when it comes down to it, Punjabis will be there when you need them to be and they will stand up. And that's what they are showing us right now is that when it comes down to really needing to be there, they are there. And that's really powerful. It's like, it's in their hearts uh, is what, oh, my camera got turned off. It's like seeing it in their hearts. Like we, a lot of people like to focus on overt things 
like um you know they have a lot of problems there may be a lot of drug addiction issues in punjab uh but at the end of the day uh they came together and even a lot of uh you know people who didn't necessarily keep their hair and stuff they would start tying parnas in solidarity because their 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 identity the the thing that influenced them to work hard to 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 be a part of this morcha this movement this sangat they're expressing it they're coming back to it in in essence when the time came so you can see that it's it's a part of their culture it it's just embedded there um which is the beautiful thing and like virju was saying uh, what he was saying that it it just can't be removed it's it's a part of the daily culture and that in essence is what uh that that makes some part of our sangat at the end of the day and that's why it's so inspiring for us even that we're here is their emblems those those way of life those symbols are coming out and then they're in their boli and how they speak about things and how they do things it's just there it's always been there it's it was just waiting for you know something maybe to happen for us to actually be shocked out in the diaspora and see like oh my goodness it's still there look at that wow it's getting us excited now you know yeah i know i noticed that too when i um i i went back and forth from here to punjab and i lived in my bend um and the way that we separate uh we think that religion is not culture and culture is not religion here where at school we're speaking english we go to the gurdwara we'll try and speak punjabi that separation wasn't there in the band so um there was no uh when our uh farmers like um there's a dam they release water and our crops will get ruined they get compensation for that that's given out in the gurdwara langar hall the um when the person comes to sell dal there's a special guy that comes from rajasthan that happens at the gurdwara the preschool is run out of the gurdwara when the circus came to town uh we sat on the gurdwara like i sat on the kotha across from the gurdwara people sat sat on the steps of the gurdwara when you want to make announcements political announcements they go over the gurdwara speakers there isn't a separate you don't like choose to believe in god you don't do you go to the gurdwara you don't you hear the part you hear the bani and so when you become political that the pathway to become political is the key uh because that's the culture because there isn't a separation of like this is punjabi culture and that's the key so if you're mad about farming and your rights are being taken away and you're walking to delhi you're going to do a jakara cuz that's your battle cry there isn't like a punjabi battle cry and a sikh battle cry you have your nishan sab that's your flag you have your parne that's your para like there isn't this separation and because sikhi never shied away from being political and because sikhi is political and because being punjabi is political and being a farmer is political when like jadon oh bar nikalda then it comes out with tolkiyan and shane and celebrations and chardi kala it uh, just a uh, bunch of my thing if you get in an argument with your neighbor like if your dog bites your neighbor or something they sort that out the gurdwara too like they sort out <laughs> issues like that all that like if you have a problem or something like yeah my dog is going to the bathroom on my neighbor's yard over and over this is really messed up let's go to the gurdwara the wedding and they come from like if you have too many people coming for a wedding you get pande from the gurdwara there's everything yeah Um so it's just a big deal like but thing is a lot of people don't understand the uh, the Punjabi culture and the psyche they don't get that that it's one in the same all of it especially people who live out in the west and then also uh other parts of India where you know you know influenced in different ways so they 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 don't understand like oh why are you bringing religion into this well, like we talk and one person said i heard him in an interview they said i see ikdarmik lok like we this is our way of life this is who we are it's not our fault you don't understand us you've never tried to get to know us in the first place you know so right. it's a very important thing to understand yeah and i think um a point that stands out uh that was just mentioned is this idea of not separating our faith from our um need to be political and our duty to be political and stand up when these kind of issues are affecting communities um something that i've heard as a common theme throughout a lot of these videos is raza vakalpur that um what's really bringing the movement forward and what's really you know giving these people the a strength to battle and the spirit behind all of this is a kal purkh vai guru is this belief that that they have that jedi um 
the justice they will receive is only from a call work. They don't even, they're going to Delhi with their demands. They don't think that Delhi is going to give them justice. They believe that, you know, being a call work ki forge, um, is what gives them that like power and that sovereignty to move forward. And I think that that is a huge component that makes this movement so unique and makes these people, the spirit that we're seeing and you know we're all here watching these videos in awe, but it does simply come down to this strength that they get from Bonnie and the strength that they get from Gurmat and this PR that they have for their heritage, for their the Sikhi that this, that's been passed down generation to, from generation to generation. So, um, you know, we're talking a lot about spirit and something that I've seen and maybe, you know, in your homes, this has come up is some people are trying to say, oh, this isn't a Sikh movement or, oh, this isn't a Panthak movement or, um, you know, let's make sure that we're keeping everyone together. Let's not let religion separate. And I know we're, we've kind of touched on this in the last few minutes, but I wanted to ask Jaspreet Benji if she could talk about what Sikhi's impact has been on this movement and what is the Pant's role here um, with everything that's been going on? Yeah, I think um, when the, the we just did Rara's together and we think about, uh, we say that Kahe Reman Chitve Uddam Ja Ahar Har Jiyo Pariya Sahel Pathar Me Jantopai Taka Rijik Aage Kartariya. I told you I wasn't going to cry, so I'm not going to cry. Um, why? We don't need to worry because um, why are you worried when Vaigrusaji is taking care of every single being on this earth? Even the rocks, like Vaigru has made sure that everyone is going to get everything. And when I think about being sovereign, so we've talked about this word with some of the younger folks as well, this idea that we are our own people, we get to determine our own future, we bow down to Vaigru, we bow down to Guru Granth Sahib Ji Maharaj and no one else. Um, and we are a part of the Pant. And that connection to land solidifies that. Like that earth gives me sustenance. That's Mata Tart Mahat. That earth is Vaigru and that earth gives me food no matter what I do. And it takes care of me. That's so humbling. And that I think is when you understand land as Vaigru, you get your sovereignty from land. Um, the really, really horrifying things we've seen, um, there was, there's a couple of farmers that have been sharing their experiences. Like one showed what uh, what he gets seven rupee a year for. So um, let's say it was the, the measurement was a quantal. So, and I'm, I don't know how to say that in English. I only know how to say quantal with a Punjabi <laughs> accent. I just learned it was an English word today. So quantal, they would get like 1800, let's say 1800 rupee a year. He showed, I get seven rupee for this. And then that same amount was being sold for 150 rupee um, in the bazaar. So, but when the farmer sells it and by the time it loops around, it goes to the mandi, it goes to the people that process it, it gets packaged, the shopkeeper takes a cut out of it. It comes, the seven comes back as 150. You can eat, you can feed your family. Uh, Sampi Singh and the kids and I got stranded in Punjab and we ate we ate like people would, were coming and dropping off fruits and vegetables. We had our own um, food that we had our own grain and all that. We were okay. And that is worth fighting for. And all of that energy and the fact that we have the right to determine our own future. Guru Gobind Singh Ji Maharaj gave us that. That and that sovereignty Guru Na that Akal Purk gave to Guru Nanak Dev Ji that went through all the Nanaks. Guru Gobind Singh Ji Maharaj gave that to us. And we have so much confidence in knowing that we can determine our own future and we have so much humility that we get from the land. Thank you, Banji. Um, I think uh, one of the important things to always remember is our duty as a Panth is to carry forward this mission of uh, Guru Sahib of Sarbatta Pala. And we sometimes understand Sarbatta Pala as just, you know, it's translated to caring for all of humanity. You know, we're doing our das for all of humanity. But Sarbat is so much more than that. It's every single aspect of Vaigru's creation. We are the protectors of it because we are a Kalpurki Faj. And I think, you know, 
when we see farmers, we really, really see that because they care for their land, they, the environment that they're, the whole ecosystem that they're around affects their livelihood and the patience and love that it takes to do the farming and to watch it. That's all Pagti, like that's all Gal Pagti Raza de Vichirena, um, you know, how the weather comes, weathering, you know, um, against that, whether there's storms, whether it's cold all of a sudden, all of those things, oh, Raza de Vichirena, and then they, you know, they're never like, they're never living outside of it. That it's really is as simple as that. So I think that's just such a, a beautiful thing to reflect on when we um, think about the importance of farmers and their livelihood. Um, all of it is revolving around that. And, um, you know, in Barney, um, we read it says, that this battle that Guru Sahib has like told us that, you know, we're here to fight as like the Fodge of like Vaigru, the army of Vaigru is the battle of truth. And when we believe that the truth is the only justice, right? Um, this truth that um, that this truth that will, you know, um, demolish any enemies that we have and fight against all of these egos. Um, we're going to be watching a clip, and Justreet Benji will be giving us some context to this near the end. But in that clip. The BBG is like talking about Modi, you know, Narendra Modi, he omedi meri karya, he's so selfish. And I think uh, one thing I do want to make sure we all walk away with today is we learn a lot. I know in your Shabad Bichar sessions, we learn a lot about our battles against the ego within ourselves and how that's our role as Khalsas to make sure that we're fighting against the vices. But that battles also with the egos outside. And this law is driven by greed, it's driven by vices. And as Kal says, we stand up against it. We're standing up against it. And, it. and it's inherently a sick issue just because when there is injustice in the world, the Khalsa doesn't stand down. And um, I was going to ask um, if Jarn Virji, if you could speak a little bit on this, but <clears throat> what is the role of, um, you know, that sovereignty in, in this movement right now, this idea that, you know, we can speak to this. We don't need anyone else to speak right. for. So, you know, to see Sarbat the Khal, so the Sarbat the Pala, right? Uh, to, to do Pala of the Sarbat, right? Of anybody, regardless of who you are, the, you know, Hindu, Muslim, Jo Mardi, you know, Jo uh, you need some Maya in this world. And Maya, what I mean by Maya is like, we like to call Maya temporal currency. Sometimes I like to translate it as, so that's money. You, you need funds, you need stuff, um, you need resources. And that's how you buy food and you buy, you know, you buy clothes and things to help people, to help them live and sustain and be free. Uh, that's a huge part of the Khalsa, right? In order to do that, you need Maya, uh, money. Um, and our Sangat, so the, the whole Sangat, right? Sangat is a big thing in Barney. It, obviously, we talk about Sangat all the time. I mean, there's a whole, like one third of Supri Sahib is about Sangat, right? Um, and there's so many Shabbas. I can't, I can't count how many Shabbas have Sangat, the word Sangat in it, but it's a lot, right? Um, the importance of it, uh, you guys have a Sangat here, the importance of it and et cetera. Uh, a huge part of our Sangat is having their Maya resources taken away it, which in essence also takes away their ability to do Sarbatapala, which takes away their ability to help, uh, you know, support langar, help support food pantries, help support buying blankets and buying things for people and doing the Khalsa world mission of helping other people. This is just one example, right, of what we can do for Sarbatapala, right? Uh, so that's also a huge reason of why uh, it's really important uh, the, the, the Maya side is important to uh, help our Sangat, right? Because they, they need the Maya so we can continue doing Seva around the world. Khalsa Aid, you guys have heard of Khalsa Aid. Organizations like that can't do their Seva around the world helping people if they weren't getting some Maya from us. If your parents or somebody else wasn't donating and giving them something so they can go buy food and blankets and make tents and temporal housing for people and help, you know, people in bad situations or who are victims of abuse and you know, even super violent things. Um, so that, that's how I see, uh, you know, the, the Sangat aspect going into the, where the Gurbani, uh, the influence of Gurbani is there, the importance of Sangat. Um, when it comes to sovereignty, right? Sarbatapalale, 
to even take that a step further, to even fight um, bad people after all means have failed, you also need Maya, right? So, so in essence, if if we are uh, if we are making sure our sangat is sustainable, our sangat has the means to fund things to help people. That in essence is sovereignty, meaning we're independent, we're self-sustaining. Uh, I like to go back to uh, you know first party deputy side and say that uh, you know maybe we're maybe we're living the value of say bung right? That's in Moon Mantra. You know, we're being autonomous. We're being self-sustaining. We're trying to connect with Vaigru by being ourselves, being sovereign uh, and uh, using, uh, you know, our position given by the Guru to fight oppression around the world. Um, in essence, to do that, you need to be sovereign and be able to uh, sustain yourself financially, have your house in order so that you can help others. And that is a huge part of sovereignty. Thank you. Thank you, Virji. Um... You know, we're talking about all of these concepts that I know that the kids have heard of for so many years, but um, I did want to kind of, and I'm going to ask Jaspreet Gaur to address this. Um, you know, we've seen a lot of social movements in the last year, and I've spoken to some of you kids about it. I've heard you guys be really passionate about these social movements. And while each and every movement is important because as six, it's our duty to stand in solidarity, not even just solidarity, but to you know lead these efforts and to fuel the movements forward. I wanted um, to know if you could touch on why is this feeling so personal to us? We're so far away and um, you know, there's, uh, some of us may not have even ever been to Punjab or been to India. For some of us, it's been so long. Why is it feeling so personal? Why should we even care? This is about food. I think everyone ate something today. Um, so think about what you ate and where it came from. We're so disconnected from where our food comes from. Maybe we don't even see it come from the grocery store. Maybe our parents do that part. If we go to grocery store, we don't see the farmers that grow the food. Um, I think everyone has a connection to food. And so this has actually been, uh, the feeling has become it's a pan Indian movement. It's become a Punjabi thing. There are Farmers unions in Ontario, we just got support from the Postal Union. Uh, we got support from the Farmers Union in Manitoba. Farmers everywhere are coming together. Um, I saw the, a great protest sign that was like, if you don't support us, grow your own food. Uh, it's so personal because it's it's that. Um, this is all of the Sikhi we've been raised uh, to think about as being like the kind of Sikhi that we kind of use to, to keep ourselves motivated. And we're finally getting to see it, which I think most of us haven't seen in our lifetimes. And it feels so intimate because we grew up hearing these stories. We grew up hearing about people that would like take care of each other and go there and do things, but we never actually got to see it. And I even talked to my dad and I was like, does this feel like 84? Does it feel like the nineties? Does it feel like we're the Bant is coming back into wanting something and he said no he said in the 80s we didn't get to see it we were my parents were already here if once in a while someone did a news story we would see it we wanted to know what was going on we wanted to know what was happening and so for him this is a new feeling as well and he's like the numbers weren't as great there's more people now um it's so uh, and it's such a positive movement and i think that's also why it feels so personal as well um I have seen foot massage stations. I have, there's two parents come together that sent a ton of pinia, barrels of pajiri, mountains of jalebian, people who are um, like entire smogams happening, like vajay, tabli, sherne. There are um, parents who have created systems. Uh, one parent sent seven people four days at a time, and then the next seven, and then the next seven, because guess what, they're farmers. They, someone has to be watching the land. There's one friend that has a, that sent a one group of farmers and they WhatsApp the group that stayed home and that group is doing rotations and making sure the families are taken care of. Um, there are farmers, there are friends that are checking in daily and saying, what can we send? How much more food do you need? There is langar that is running nonstop. It is a mila. It is 
there's so much positive. Like I was telling somebody like with the stories we grew up on and we haven't really been able to like hear new stories that often. We have enough stories and like visuals and good feelings for an entire generation. And there's even one band where like I was watching and there's like all these people on a tractor and they're dancing and they're like, yeah, there's like a wedding for us. There was another friend that was like, no, this is not a wedding for us. We're not going to eat any fancy food. We're only going to eat dal fuka. Modi is the groom until we remove his seda. We're not celebrating this wedding. And so everyone is bringing this like incredible energy to it. And one of the uh, people have been going on hunger strikes and people have been saying, no, we're going to eat, but we're not going to eat the jalebiyan. Like there's a whole um, just a, like array of experiences. Uh, it definitely, it feels so personal. I, I see the images and I've, I've been very fortunate to get, to be able to build a connection with my friend as an adult. I see uh, there was this Bapuji who was really old and they're like, Bapuji to see kar jaldo. And he's like, nay. He's like, mar jonge, nay jonge. And I was like, that's my Babaji. Like that, that stubbornness that like, we will not move. We will not leave. My Babaji was uh, with Sankartar Singh when he went to Delhi. Um, and he, it was that same energy. It was like, we are not, you told us we can't come. Oh, now we're coming. And it, all of those, all of that energy feels so much like the stories we grew up with. That's why it feels personal to me. Thank you, Panji. Um, you painted a beautiful image like of everything that's going on there and the whole environment and atmosphere. I wanted to actually ask Sampirji, um, our historian in the house, uh, to kind of give us a little bit of an idea of peaceful protests in the past and what the result was and you know have protests like this in the history of India at least always been led by six or led by the Panth um, if you could kind of touch on those things I know we're getting closer to um, our time but maybe we'll we might go a little bit over I think but uh, I did want to address um, that and give you guys some context yeah for sure you know, it, just to begin with farming, Guru Nanak Sahib Ji was a farmer, Guru Angad Sahib Ji was a farmer. Baba Bandasik Bahadur changed the face of Sikhi and Punjab through farming. So even if you're not a Punjabi Sikh, or even if you are Punjabi Sikh who doesn't come from a farming background, or if you're Punjabi and you're not a Sikh, this is still a movement that you can get behind. Um, this is still a movement that you can support in your own way. Six have done peaceful protests for a long time, and we're going to look and see how far back it actually goes. The last time there were protests in this number was when the Prime Minister of India, Indira Gandhi, uh, uh, stopped the Constitution and got rid of all civil liberties and rights. So, you know, like how the police can't just arrest you for no reason, she got rid of that rule. You could be protested, you could be arrested for no reason. You know how you can meet in a group of people and organize? She made it illegal to meet in a group of more than five people. So she did this thing and it's called emergency. And you probably have heard of that before when we talk about Sikh history about emergency. Sikh protest against emergency. And Jasper Gore just talked about Sankartar Singh Pinaravale. He himself organized 37 mass protests against emergency. And one of them he did in Delhi. So at a time when it was illegal to meet in a group of more than five people, almost 100,000 Sikhs protested in Delhi back in 1977. So that is our heritage. And if we go back before that, 600,000 Sikhs went to jail during the Punjabi Suba movement in order to get Punjab to be a state. So there were daily protests almost of this scale every day for 12 years, people were protesting to try to get Punjabi Suba. Just and if you go back- fact about Punjabi Suba, when all those six, 600,000 got arrested, they all wrote uh, uh, Guru Gobind Singh Ji as their grandfather and Mata Sahib Kaur as their grandmother. Uh, when they were registering in jail. Yeah. And and so it's a very pantic, so it's it's a Punjabi thing and something like Punjabi Subha, something like the Anandpur Sahib resolution, these are things that Sikhs are doing for everybody in India. Anandpur Sahib resolution was to help all states, was to help all minority groups. We were the main ones doing it though. Emergency, everybody in India was affected. And besides a few small communist and socialist groups, the main group fighting against emergency was the Sikh Panth. 
we were the ones who saved India's democracy. And more than that, in the generation before Punjabi Subha, so we're going back generation by generation to the 1930s, it was the Sikhs who peacefully protested and brought about uh, the British leaving India. So we gave India its freedom through the same type of protests. And these protests were incredible. If you go back and read about Jeto the Morcha, Guru Ka Bagh Morcha, they would just go through, and just like this movement here, and we see it in real time now, we see how this happens. And just sim very similar to the way when Baba Deep Singh left Dam Dam Asaib, he only had like 30, 40 people with him, his own students, that's it. And by the time he got to Amritsar, he had 5,000 Sikhs with him. And where did those 5,000 Sikhs come from? Just every village, every band that Baba Deep Singh went through, people just joined up and they're like, we want to join this movement. We want to join you. And the same way back in the 20s and 30s, people would be walking and the whole uh, family, the children, the mother, the father, the grandparents, everybody would come and be like, we want to be part of this Bantik Morcha. And they would go and they would get beaten by the British police. And we are talking a lot about Delhi. Six have a very interesting uh, relationship with Delhi. Five Guru Sahibs went to Delhi. Two Guru Sahibs had their Jyoti Jyot in Delhi, right? Guru Tegh Bahadur Sahib Ji was Shaheed there. And Guru Harkishan Sahib Ji uh, passed away because of um, a smallpox, right? So we have this very, uh, Delhi has been the center of power in India for before Guru Nanak's time. It's been, it's the ancient capital of India. And our fight has many times been with Delhi. Our fight is, our struggle has been against Delhi. And when we talk about bringing a non-violent protest to Delhi, and I was trying to think, where can we, where can I trace this back to? I can trace it back to emergency. I can trace it back to the 1930s. And then I was thinking, actually, you know where it can be traced back to? It can be traced back to Guru Tegh Bahadur Sahib Ji. It can be traced back to the fact that Guru Tegh Bahadur Sahib Ji went to Delhi to protest what was happening, the forced conversions that were being put on the Kashmiri Pandits. And he spoke up to Aurangzeb and said, what you are doing is wrong. So that's where our Sikh tradition comes from. Going to Delhi and standing up for what is right, this is a tradition in Sikhi that goes all the way back to Guru Sahib, all the way back to Guru, uh, Guru Tegh Bahadur Sahib. And the idea of speaking truth to power, telling Modi this is wrong, that goes back even further. That goes back to Guru Nanak Sahib Ji, who spoke up to Babur. So these are intertwined in our DNA as six, these types of movements. They used to, in the early 1700s, there used to be an extra section of Doida. And they would sing this extra part of Doida before Rajke Ka Khalsa Akire Na Koi. They would say, Dili Takat Par Behenge Aap Guru Ki Foj, Chatar Firege Seas Par Bare Karegi Moj. We will sit with the Shatar, with the Chandoa on our heads as royals in Delhi. One day we will rule Delhi. So this has been a long Sikh tradition to be like, we're going to take over Delhi. We're going to get to Delhi and we're going to show them who's really in charge. And we actually did it before. And you'll hear a lot of the people in the protest talking about Baba Bagail Singh. Baba Bagail Singh was a Misaldad in the 1700s, in the mid 1700s who was uh, from the Pangi Missile, and he was able to uh, lead a force of six who actually took over Delhi and made the Mughal government pay a tax to the Khalsa Pant. So that is also our heritage, going to Delhi, asking for rights, going to Delhi and demonstrating our sovereignty, going to uh, Delhi and talking about the rights of the poor and the oppressed. This is all our history from the 1970s to the 1930s to the 1600s. This is what Sikhi has been about. Thank you, Virji. And I think this segues perfectly into one of the videos we wanted to share. Uh, this spirit of the Khalsa, this looking back on our history, especially, um, you know, Guru Gobind Singh Ji giving us so much as making us the Khalsa and um, <clears throat> making us, you know, these, uh, giving us this allegiance, this path to follow, to make sure that we're committed to the Guru, making sure that we are, you know, uh, fighting this battle in all with all means so I know that we've learned about 
you know, the peaceful protests that have happened in the past, the peaceful protests that is happening now. But, you know, one of the Gagars we were blessed with was a Kirpan. And there's a reason for that. And, you know, a Sikh fights the battle with whatever means necessary when it comes to delivering justice because Pogotti, this Kirpan, we reflect on it as the power of a Galburk that, you know, um, that a Galburk is the one that can, you know, take life and give life. And, as a Sikh fighting those battles, looking, being the Sansibai of like a Galpur Kifaj motivates us, inspires us to make sure that we are fighting these battles. And um, that's been inspiring for us to see in our history. And this next video that we're going to share with you, I mean, there's been so many artists, so many, not just famous artists, but so many talented individuals sharing so much over the past couple of weeks. Couple. But this um, clip in particular, we wanted to show you all. And just record if you could give some context on the clip once we've shared it, that would be great. Thank you. Asi bar saha baba deep singh de Asi bar saha baba deep singh de Eho kar de haan ikrar loko ho Oye ethe has has jana var jande Nenyo kar de rata parwa loko Nenyo kar de rata parwa loko Hoba jamaale a tere skool indre Kal giya wahale a tere skool indre Hoba ta lagi a lag di fees koi हो सोबा सुन के मैं मिया हो या दाखले सेबत सुन के मैं मिया हो या दाखले पढ़न वाले कोई भी स्थितीस कोई ना मारी निगाह या बिच जमात इंद्रे ते पढ़न वाले आंधे तड़ाते शीश कोई ना बाज जमात या तेरी या तू जाने कर सकता दाता तेरी रीस कोई ना हो दम दिते आवाज नी दम मिल तोने यू वांट मी जस्ट एक्सप्लेन अ लिटिल बिट हाँ जी या दिस दिस इज़ वन ऑफ़ दोस थिंग्स वेर लाइक यू लाइक यू ग्रो अप सिंगिंग दिस थिंग्स एंड यू लाइक दिते आवाज नी रहना तो हम से दिते आवाज नी रहना एंड यू लाइक या दैट्स नॉर्मल डोसेंट � um we have when you are given khande ki pal you give your life to gusab and then there's nothing like there's no attachment to um i remember when we used to train in gatka that it was like the worst they can do is take your body your life already belongs to gusab and to walk this earth with that confidence and to know that you have like matna lama lalinya and there's there's just nothing else. And that's what you see when you talk about Baba Deep Singh, when you talk about um, being given admission into this school where like that's the price, um, that I think that gives you all the courage you need. Thank you. Um, when we hear about uh, the role that history plays in inspiring us, just like Banji said that um, sometimes we, we hear these things and we don't really understand the context behind it. We don't understand like, what does it mean to like give your life? And I think that's the spirit that a lot of us are awestruck by when we're, when we're watching these videos and we're seeing things unfold is that spirit, is that spirit of Jardikla, that idea of be, um, you know, you've given your head to the Guru. Ser Guru nu de chukke ya, si hor kosh bachiya hai niya. And if Ser Guru nu de chukke ya, that's also our mat, you know, that's our everything that we are. So our actions are a reflection of giving our head to Guru Sahib. Um, and that's, I think, the actions we're seeing um, right now unfold before us. Something important um, that because we're really in the middle of all of this, um, John Prithirji mentioned earlier, you know, negotiations are happening. I kind of just wanted um, quickly, if Sant Prithirji, uh, you could address kind of what to expect um, based on things that have happened in the past, like how, how should we be viewing um, what's might be coming in the next couple weeks as we watch the next couple months because we've heard that our bazorg are there and they're ready to stay for months the supplies are there for them to stay for months but if you could kind of help us understand um what what could possibly unfold and um 
you know, just because I know the kids will require a certain lens to be able to understand as we watch things progress. It's really important to appreciate this moment as six. Um, none of us have experienced this in our lifetimes. Um, if you were alive in the 70s and old enough, you would have experienced it a little bit. But um, post 84, maybe the Sarbat Khalsa in 86, but a mass of six in this number. I really want the kids to know that this is something that you can be proud of, you can take pride in, you can feel really good about. At the same time, as you've seen with the world, how it's unfolded this last year in 2020, very few things that we took for granted or thought the way the world works actually happens. And so there is a possibility of the government doing something really horrible. That is a possibility that could happen. And this has happened to protesters, innocent protesters in Iran, it's happened in Sudan, it's happened in other places. And the, we talk about, well, how about all the social media and all, everything getting out? First of all, some governments don't care. Secondly, the government has the ability to shut down the internet and they've done that in other countries. They shut down the internet and then they've gone ahead and done some pretty terrible things. So we don't need to be scared, but we do need to be aware that there's a possibility of this ending, like a lot of movements in the past have ended with Gurbani, that that is a possibility. One thing that we really want to do our das for, and our das matters and has an impact, is not only the Chardikla, but also the ekta of the of the of the protesters that we stay united because many times in the past we have been able to be uh, manipulated our leaders have been able to be manipulated and they have turned on each other or at least one one or two people have turned and caused problems i think right now what's so powerful like jaren uh, had said earlier was that this is a people's movement without a leader, which is really hearkening back to what Guru Gobind Singh Sahibji really envisioned for the Khalsa Pant. That's what he wanted for the Pant, was a, a, a community made up of, of leaders. And all of us are leaders in our own way, and we stand up and we take charge and we work together. So the fact that there hasn't been one single leader so far, that there's been multiple different organizations and leadership and they're working together so far, I think those are really good signs. So I'm not too worried about that side of it, but we do need to understand that something may happen from the government side because we don't know what the end game is. I know Sachpreet asked me, asked a question in the chat and he said, you know, what happens if the government refuses to take back those three laws? And we don't know the answer to that question. We don't know what happens. We don't know what the protesters will do and how committed we see their commitment, how far that commitment will take them. And we also don't know how the government will tr truly respond. I think the government is stunned right now. They haven't seen this. They thought the six weren't a thing to worry about anymore. They thought that the Banth wasn't something that they needed to be worried about. And the fact that 200,000 people just showed up in Delhi and are refusing to leave, it is not something that they anticipated. They are in shock right now. They are trying to figure out what to do. And let's see how they respond to it. They can respond to it in a really positive way, but I don't have that much hope for a Hindu right-wing fascist government. So there's, again, like the action that we can do here, especially for the younger folks, Ardas, Pantadi Ekta Di Ardas, Sarandi Chardi Kala Di Ardas. We ask Harmadan Fateh, we ask for victory, we ask for safety, and we ask for the strength to accept whatever comes next. Thank you, um, Benji. There is one clip uh, that we want to show before opening up for questions. It's um, it's a video of actually a young uh, girl your guys' age and basically what her life is right now because her whole family is at the protest. And um, <clears throat> while we play a role here that's a little different and Benji has given you ways that you can stay involved and informed. I We did want to show that it is from young to old, everyone that is there. And um, Virji, could you share that video? I 
ਮੱਛਰ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਕੱਟਦਾ ਪਰ ਅਸੀਂ ਮੱਛਰਾਂ ਦੀ ਪਰਵਾਹ ਨਹੀਂ ਕਰਦੇ ਹਾਗੇ ਅਸੀਂ ਤਾਂ ਗੋਲੀਆਂ ਦੀ ਪਰਵਾਹ ਵੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਕਰਦੇ ਮੱਛਰ ਕੀ ਚੀਜ਼ ਆ ਮੈਂ ਸ਼ੇਵਿੰਗ ਕਲਾਸ ਚ ਆ ਦੇਖੋ ਜੀ ਪੜ੍ਹਾਈ ਵੀ ਨਾਲ ਕਰਨੀ ਪੈਂਦੀ ਪੜ੍ਹਾਈ ਵੀ ਜ਼ਰੂਰੀ ਹੈ ਲੜਾਈ ਇਸ ਸਮੇਂ ਲੜਾਈ ਵੀ ਜ਼ਰੂਰੀ ਹੈ ਤੇ ਪੜ੍ਹਾਈ ਵੀ ਤਾਂ ਜ਼ਰੂਰੀ ਹੈ ਤੋਂ ਜੋ ਆ ਪੇਪਰ ਵੀ ਆ ਚੱਲਣ 10 ਤਰੀਕ ਨੂੰ ਤੇ ਉਹਦੀ ਤਿਆਰੀ ਵੀ ਹੁਣ ਮੈਂ ਕਰ ਰਹੀ ਆ ਤੇ ਫਿਰ ਉਧਰ ਸਟੇਜ ਵੱਲ ਵੀ ਚਾਹੀਦਾ ਉਧਰ ਵੀ ਕੁਝ ਉਧਰ ਵੀ ਸਮਝਦਾਰ ਲੋਕ ਆਉਂਦੇ ਨੇ ਕੁਝ ਵਿਚਾਰਾਂ ਦੱਸਦੇ ਨੇ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਵੀ ਸੁਣੀਦਾ ਆ ਫਿਰ ਉੱਥੇ ਵੀ ਟਾਈਮ ਲੱਗ ਜਾਂਦਾ ਫਿਰ ਇੱਥੇ ਆ ਕੇ ਮਮਾ ਸ਼ਾਮ ਨੂੰ ਪ੍ਰਸ਼ਾਦੇ ਬਣਾਉਂਦੇ ਨੇ ਪਰ ਅਸੀਂ ਬੱਸ ਚ ਸੋਈਦਾ ਬਾਕੀ ਜਿਵੇਂ ਨੇ ਉਹ ਬਾਹਰ ਸੋ ਲੈਂਦੇ ਨੇ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਬੱਸ ਚ ਥਾਂ ਮਿਲ ਜਾਂਦੀ ਆ ਜਿੱਥੇ ਥਾਂ ਮਿਲ ਜਾਂਦੀ ਉੱਥੇ ਸੋ ਲਈ ਜਾਇਆ ਅਸੀਂ ਇਹ ਸਾਹ ਲੈ ਰਹੇ ਆ ਕਿ ਸੰਘਰਸ਼ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਜ਼ੁਲਮ ਦੇ ਖਲਾ ਅਸੀਂ ਸੰਘਰਸ਼ ਕਰਦੇ ਆ ਕਰਦੇ ਹੀ ਰਵਾਂਗੇ ਜਿੰਨੀ ਦੇਰ ਇਹ ਸੰਘਰਸ਼ ਚੱਲੂਗਾ ਅਸੀਂ ਚਲਾਵਾਂਗੇ ਅਸੀਂ ਕਮਜ਼ੋਰ ਨਹੀਂ ਆ ਤੇ ਨਾ ਹੀ ਬਣਾਂਗੇ ਰੱਬ ਮੇਰ ਕਰੇ ਕਿ ਹੱਕ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਜਲਦੀ ਹੀ ਮਿਲ ਜਾਣ ਰੱਬ ਵੀ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦਾ ਸਾਥ ਹੀ ਦਿੰਦਾ ਜੋ ਸੱਚ ਤੇ ਪੈਰਾ ਦਿੰਦੇ ਨੇ ਆਈ ਥਿੰਕ ਇਟਸ ਰੀਲੀ ਬਿਊਟੀਫੁਲ ਫਾਰ ਅਸ ਟੂ ਬੀ ਏਬਲ ਟੂ ਵਿਟਨੈਸ ਥੀਸ ਮੋਮੈਂਟਸ ਸਪੈਸ਼ਲੀ ਸੀਇੰਗ ਯੂ ਨੋ ਥੀਸ ਆਰ ਦਾ ਵੀਕਸ ਥੈਟ ਵੀ ਸਪੈਂਡ ਰਿਫਲੈਕਟਿੰਗ ਔਨ ਦਾ ਛੋਟੇ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜਾਦੇ ਇਨ ਮਾਤਾ ਗੁਜਰੀ ਐਂਡ ਯੂ ਕੈਨ ਹੈਲਪ ਬਟ ਥਿੰਕ ਥੈਟ ਇਨ ਵੈਰੀ ਸਿਮਿਲਰ ਕੰਡੀਸ਼ਨਸ um our family is there in punjab right now in very similar weather and so go like the inspiration that they're drawing directly like we've been watching these interviews of um them reflecting on mata gujri and the shorte saheb jade and the thanda burj and saying you know this is nothing compared to that and but it's it's a reflection it's a direct reflection of that spirit of that faith in the guru that unwavering parosa and i think you know we're fortunate to belong to a panth and to belong to a guru that's given us given us so much and um before we wrap up i did want to open up for 5 minutes if any of you have a question um those of you that are tuned into our call today uh you can raise your hand or put it in the chat um and i will just like pause here for some of those questions you may have so if you guys can raise your hand on zoom or put it in the chat okay it doesn't look like we have any questions um just know i'm in the energy you were watching the youtube stream is there anything there that came in okay um so just before we wrap up uh, a note that i wanted to leave on is and just a couple things one being you know the elder community and the punjabi community is one that we neglect sometimes um sometimes we feel it on a personal level where you, we don't get to spend as much time with our grandparents but also sometimes when we look back at the elderly um you know we let the way that society represents them be the way that we look at them as well but they are assets they are so important and i think when i was reflecting on um this panel and trying to think of different things especially for me personally um that were you know coming forward as i was watching all these videos is um spend time with your grandparents speak to them when we if we see this these videos and we're moved by that those of us that are fortunate to have grandparents or elders in our community um you know hear their stories i was like looking back and thinking of like when we would go to punjab as a family um you know my dad didn't even grow up in his band my baba ji left at some point but every single time my parents would take a picture of us standing in front of the kit because we would make a one like half day trip to the bend and it would mean the absolute world to my baba ji and he would tell us so many stories just in turn of us showing us him that picture and i think that moments like those sit with your families your parents your grandparents hear their stories they all have these really beautiful and unique stories from their own lives and um 
you know, uh, a huge part of that also, I know a lot of this discussion happened in English, but make an effort to speak Punjabi, make an effort to learn Punjabi. It's actually never too late. My mom, she grew up actually only reading Hindi and um, grew up in a school where she spoke a lot of Hindi. She learned Punjabi with us. Like when we were kids learning Punjabi, she learned it with us. So there's, it's actually never too late. Um, <clears throat> and the reason I push that is because of what I said earlier, you, you want to be able to talk to the generations before you and the inspiration <clears throat> that we're getting directly from um, watching these videos of them speak, seeing our Bazorg in the streets right now, um, it's important that we amplify their voices um, and make sure that their voices are heard, even on a personal level in our families. And the second thing I wanted to say was um, in the Six have never um, wanted to take the easy route, let alone that, you know, why aren't things easy for us? Sometimes you hear that or, man, the struggle never ends. It's been so many years. It's always been like this. There was a price on six head at some point at some point, our gurus gave shaheed, these gursiks gave shaheed, these, it's always been this way. And that's the beauty of it. And I think something that I see in these elders and even the younger generation is sarbata palai sada. It's forever even, it's timeless. If we think of it, think of it like that, it's really beyond even the realm that we're in right now. So the work that they're putting in now, the work that we will also be putting in by staying involved as much as we can from here, um, you know, there it's very likely they won't even see the fruit of their labor. Labor. Um, there's so much that clearly we learned about over the past couple. Um, uh, I think about an hour that we've been discussing uh, about so many things that are corrupt right now and so many ways that there's injustice. So there's actually a bigger fight here, even after if these laws are taken back, there's so much to do as a community. But I think that something that we should always remember is that our role in it is, is right and what we do right now will affect generations to come, just like where we are right now is due to the Gorsiks and the Sikhs in the past that laid down the foundations for us to be here. And when I see these elderly speaking, saying that that's so real. They really will give their life. They may not see it. And even we may not see everything in our lifetime, but that's our role here. We're not here to enjoy everything. We're here. We're so used to having the comfort of our homes and we have such privileged, beautiful lives, but the battles that we fight, the battles that our people have fought, they've always been for this timeless, this idea that we have a duty here to the world to carry the Guru's mission forward of equality and making sure that there are equal rights for everything in Guru's, in Maharaj's Srishti, uh, in Maharaj's creation, um, including our environment, including the people that tend to that environment, and including all of the laws and trade laws and everything that um, brings together how a society works, making sure that that's equal. Um, so I did, I wanted, I wanted to make sure that all of us understood um, our role in this and that it isn't just an instant um, gratification that we're going to get. You have to put in the work and this is how movements have gone in the past. So um, to wrap up, we wanted to end on a beautiful and high note. Um, Jaspreet Kaur will give you a little bit of context on the video that we're going to conclude on. And um, I, and afterwards we'll be, um, you know, concluding your all of your Devon programs. So we'll have Ardas and Hukum and uh, wrap up in the evening. But I wanted to thank everyone for joining. I know there were some, there was Sangat on YouTube that joined, and all of you kids that were so engaged throughout uh, today's. Um, panel discussion. And I hope these discussions continue. And as as the future generation, hold your elders accountable. If you're have those discussions, ask those questions, 
call, you know, call out us, your elder brothers and sisters and uncles and aunties and say, I want to learn more about this or I want to know what's going on. Um, that's what we're here for as a community and a Sangat. So thank you everyone for tuning in. I'm sure all of us made many mistakes. Only Guru Sahib is perfect and Guru Sahib di or Asre Nali. Um, hopefully we were able to um, keep everything here in line with Gormat. So Jasprit Benji, if you could. Um... Yeah, I'll set up the video. This is the one with the older BBM, right? Hanji. All right. So women and people of other genders have been the heart of this movement. I keep saying Modi should be scared. And if he should be scared, he should be scared the most of the BBM. They, there are Bibian who, so when you see every man, uh, young and old and in between that you see, there are women that stayed home so they could be there. And they are the ones that are sending the atta and they are the ones that are sending all of the preparation. So sometimes you don't get to see them, but you get to see their impact. One Bibi sent a vilna and a chakki to make the roti, but also she said, if you see Modi, beat him with the vilna. Um, there are there are Bibia that are mad because there's a, like this anti-corruption campaign that Modi started that he got rid of the hundred rupee notes and Bibia had like collected those and put them under their mattresses to give to their grandkids to give to people like you and now their notes are not worth anything but he made all the money uh, there it has no value anymore so they're mad that he took their notes away they have created songs like bolia and stuff that used to be for weddings they've turned them into anti modi bol modi needs to be afraid of the women in this movement and this what you're going to see is sardiyan matama sardiyan bibia they are they have a one way ticket to delhi they don't plan on going back they are they're like asi kyon piche rukiye and if you think about what it takes for um for women and people of other genders to be a part of these movements it always requires a little bit more and sometimes it's things that people don't think of um you need clean bathrooms you need safe places to sleep um you need menstrual products you, there's so many things that are required and there and those are i've actually heard really good stories about those things being supplied and even like that video you saw where the mom and the daughter were able to sleep on the bus that little thing not having to sleep on the street but being able to sleep on a bus those kinds of things make it possible for women to participate so these are our bibian who i heard one who said i brought my so like your kapda that you wear when you die your funeral shroud she's like i brought it with me i'm not going back this is the one i'm only going to delhi and either modi changes his mind and i go back or i don't go back and these women are saying you're going to hear the interviewer ask bibi if you're here who's running your house ungal khadi karke kende akal purakh if i'm here akal purakh is running my house and they are just like they're total ballers they're so strong they're so inspiring and these are the mothers and the grandmothers and the women that we come from and people of all genders come from these women and you get to take their strength and they are they cite the shorte saheb ja they they are inspired by you you're inspired by them um and you really truly get to see how sikhi becomes the heart of this movement to roti chak li assi ondu baad utthe karna vi ki hai ha assi aap da guruan de kol ja ke assi diyan pa daange guruan di god ch bag jange jaddu assi ki lena hor परिवार के मुखी भी पिछो फिर कौन राखी रखेगा घर अकाल पुरख सचे पातशाह असी तो ना थकीिए ना अकीए सा नींद भी उड़ गई सू नींद भी कोई नहीं दिता लोहा बन गए लोहा परवाह नहीं समझते ना कोई गलो परवाह समझे ना अगे समझी है ये तो अकाल पुरख की कृपा है हम मोदी तो मेरी मेरी कर दिया मेरी वाला तो कोई भी ना रहा वो तो पंडा मन लिया वो पंडा नाल नहीं जाए ये तो मुठियाँ मिच के आने खोल के जावे मोदी की किस ले जूगा नाल मोदी वाद तो मुकर गया माइया कहना थी मैं छोटिया बधा दूंगा फिर सना कि परसन बधाई है उन्हें की देता मोदी ने उन्हें तो सारा गुस्सा तो खो लिया साढ़े हक ने भी सू मिलने चाहिए ने असी आपके हकों लड़ रहे हाँ असी तो लोहा बने हुए हैं साड़ी नींद भी उठ गई सूँ कोई पाला नहीं लगता सानू गर्मी नहीं आती कुछ नहीं आता सन तो ताओ आ रहे हैं असी जमी नहीं डरते है जो कुछ उन्होंने करना है हम कर लेना ठीक है और करूगा इदू बाद मार दूगा 
ਕੀ ਕਰ ਲੂਗਾ ਫਿਰ ਮੋਦੀ ਸਾਡਾ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਕੁਝ ਕਰਨੇ ਕਰ ਲਈ ਪਰਚੇ ਦਰਜ ਕਰ ਲਏ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਕੁਝ ਉਹਨੇ ਕਰਨੇ ਕਰ ਲਏ ਪਰਾਲੀਆਂ ਤੇ ਵੀ ਕਹਿਆ ਉਹਨੇ ਸਭ ਕਾਸੇ ਤੇ ਵੀ ਕਰਿਆ ਹੋਰ ਕੀ ਕਰ ਲੂ ਉਹ ਤਾਂ ਹੁਣ ਭਿੱਲੀ ਹੋਏ ਜਿਵੇਂ ਭਿੱਜ ਕੇ ਬਿੱਲੀ ਅੰਦਰ ਬੈਠੀ ਹੁੰਦੀ ਐ ਐਕਣ ਬਹਿ ਗਿਆ ਤਾਂ ਗਿੱਦੜ ਐ ਗਿੱਦੜ ਨਹੀਂ ਭਟ ਹੋਏ ਚ ਕਹਿੰਦਾ ਹਜ਼ਾਰਾਂ ਦਾ ਤਾਂ ਮਕਾਨ ਵਧੀਆ ਅਸੀਂ ਉਹ ਗਿੱਦੜ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੈਗੇ ਅਸੀਂ ਤਾਂ ਬਾਬਰ ਸ਼ੇਰ ਆ ਅਸੀਂ ਤਾਂ ਕਿਸਾਨ ਜੂਨੀਅਰ ਵਾਲਿਆਂ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਆ ਸਾਡੇ ਗੁਰੂ ਸਾਡੇ ਨਾਲ ਨੇ ਕਾਲਪੁਰਖ ਸਾਡੇ ਨਾਲ ਐ ਬਹਿ ਗਰੂ ਨਾ ਹੋਏ ਠੀਕ ਹੈ ਛੋਟੇ ਛੋਟੇ ਬੱਚਿਆਂ ਨੇ ਸਹਿਦੀਆਂ ਪਾਈਆਂ ਨੇ ਜੇ ਅਸੀਂ ਪਾ ਦਾਂਗੇ ਤਾਂ ਕੀ ਹੋ ਜੂਗਾ ਇੰਨੀ ਕਿ ਮੇਰੀ ਬੇਨਤੀ ਪ੍ਰਵਾਨ ਕਰੇ ਕਿਸਾਨਾਂ ਦੀ ਹੋ ਸੁਣੇ ਅਸੀਂ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਲੱਡੂਆਂ ਨਾਲ ਤੋਲ ਦਿੱਤੇ ਸਾਡੇ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਬੱਚੇ ਗਏ ਨੇ ਫੁਹਾਰੇ ਛੱਡ ਰਿਹਾ ਉਹ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਤੇ ਵੀ ਵੇਲਾ ਹੁਣ ਹੈ ਜੇ ਸਾਡੀ ਹੱਥ ਦੀ ਲਾ ਨਹੀਂ ਸਾਡੀ ਮੱਥੇ ਦੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਲਾਹੀ ਹੈਗੀ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਦੇਊਗਾ ਉਹ ਦੇਖ ਲੈ ਵੀ ਕੀ ਭਾਬੀ ਕਦੀਆ ਹਜੇ ਵੀ ਸੋਚ ਲੈ ਦੁੱਲੇ ਬੇਰਾਂ ਦਾ ਕੁਛ ਨਹੀਂ ਵਿਚੜਿਆ ਮੋਦੀਆ ਹਜੇ ਵੀ ਤੂੰ ਸੋਚ ਲੈ ਪਾ ਲੈ ਝੋਲੀ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਵੇਲੇ ਨੂੰ ਫਸਤਾਊਗਾ ਉਹਦੇ ਵੇਲਾ ਹੱਥ ਨਹੀਂ ਆਉਣਾ ਕਿਸਾਨਾਂ ਦਾ ਵਿਚੜਦਾ ਕੁਛ ਨਹੀਂ ਉਹਦਾ ਰਹਿੰਦਾ ਕੱਖ ਨਹੀਂ ਇੰਨੀ ਕਿ ਮੇਰੀ ਬੇਨਤੀ ਪ੍ਰਵਾਨ ਕਰੋ ਬਈ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਦੇ you said she was amazing she she said that modi's hiding like a wet cat um she, she said he's a wet cat and we're babar shit she said we're babar shit she said we have nothing he she said he has nothing to gain and we have nothing to lose uh she said asi loha ban gaye we are steel now um and she's like we don't get hungry we don't get hot we don't get cold modi needs to be afraid she we're prepared to be martyred like the saibs are they so she's prepared to die and fight so that's that's a big thing too <laughs> hanji well thank you again everyone um for joining us today and just a quick request to all the parents that tuned in with their kids um please try to continue these discussions at home and um, this was just a small effort to bring our community of youth together and answer any questions they might have but things will continue progressing we're you know seeing things unfold live right now so we request that you please continue these discussions if there's any seva that any of us can do moving forward um please reach out let us know but again with that um you know there's not much more to say especially after watching that video but there is so much to be inspired by and continue to stay inspired um that would be the one thing that i'd want you to take away from today and as you view what unfolds over the next couple weeks just remember the lens that you should be using as six of the guru um that chardikla that spirit that you're seeing um you know use that as a source of inspiration and any injustices you see around you even in your in your world in your communities um do your part always stand up against the tyranny of the oppression and the discrimination that's your role as a khalsa that's your duty as a sikh of the guru so with that again um politically mafi from everyone thank you for to everyone for taking the time to join us today and i will um pass it over to the kids to conclude our program vai guru ji ka khalsa vai guru ji ki fateh ਸ੍ਰੀ ਭਗਤੀ ਜੀ ਸਹਾਇ ਵਾਰ ਸ੍ਰੀ ਭਗਤੀ ਜੀ ਕੀ ਪਾਤਸ਼ਾਹੀ ਦਸੀ ਜਿਸ ਨੇ ਭਗਤੀ ਸਿਮਰ ਕਿਹਾ ਹੈ ਗੁਰ ਨਾਨਕ ਲੈ ਕੇ ਆਏ ਫਿਰ ਅੰਗਦ ਗੁਰ ਤੇ ਅਮਰਦਾਸ ਰਾਮ ਦਾਸੇ ਹੋਏ ਸਹਾਇ ਅਰਜਨ ਹਰ ਉਹ ਬਿੰਦਨੋ ਸਿਮਰੋ ਸ੍ਰੀ ਹਲਾਏ ਸ੍ਰੀ ਹਰ ਕ੍ਰਿਸ਼ਨ ਤੇ ਆਈਆ ਹੈ ਜਿਸ ਜਿੱਥੇ ਸਭ ਦੁਖ ਜਾਏ ਤੇਗ ਬਹਾਦਰ ਸਿਮਰਿਆ ਹੈ ਕਰ ਨਾ ਨੇ ਦਾਵੇ ਤਾਏ ਸਭ ਥਾਈ ਹੋਏ ਸਹਾਇ ਦਸਾ ਪਾਤਸ਼ਾਹ ਸ੍ਰੀ ਗੁਰੂ ਗੋਬਿੰਦ ਸਿੰਘ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੀ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਸਭ ਥਾਈ ਹੋਏ ਸਹਾਇ ਦਸਾ ਪਾਸ਼ਾ ਜੀ ਦੀ ਜੋਤ ਸ਼੍ਰੀ ਗੁਰੂ ਗ੍ਰੰਥ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੀ ਦੇ ਪਾਠ ਦੀ ਦਾਰ ਦਾ ਧਿਆਨ ਧਰ ਕੇ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਜੀ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਬੋਲੋ ਜੀ ਵਾਹੇ ਗੁਰੂ ਪੰਜਾ ਪਿਆਰਿਆਂ ਚਹਾਂ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜ਼ਾਦਿਆਂ ਚਾਲੀਆਂ ਮੁਕਤਿਆਂ ਹੱਠੀਆਂ ਜੱਪੀਆਂ ਤਪੀਆਂ ਜਿੰਨਾ ਨਾਮ ਜਪਿਆ ਵੰਡ ਕੇ ਛਕਿਆ ਦੇਖ ਚਲਾਈ ਤੇਗ ਵਾਹੀ ਦੇਖ ਕੇ ਅੰਡਿਟ ਕੀਤਾ ਤਿਨਾ ਪਿਆਰਿਆਂ ਸਚਿਆਰਿਆਂ ਦੀ ਕ
ਜਿੰਨਾ ਸਿੰਘਾਂ ਸਿੰਘਣੀਆਂ ਨੇ ਧਰਮ ਖੇਤ ਸੀਸ ਦਿੱਤੇ ਬੰਦ ਬੰਦ ਕਟਾਏ ਖੋਪਰੀਆਂ ਲਹਾਈਆਂ ਚੜ ਖੜੀਆਂ ਤੇ ਚੜੇ ਆਰਿਆਂ ਨਾਲ ਚੜਾਏ ਗਏ ਗੁਰਦੁਆਰਿਆਂ ਦੀ ਸੇਵਾ ਲਈ ਕੁਰਬਾਨੀਆਂ ਦਿੱਤੀਆਂ ਧਰਮ ਨਹੀਂ ਹਾਰਿਆ ਸਿੱਖੀ ਕੇਸਾਂ ਸਵਾਸਾਂ ਨਾਲ ਨਿਭਾਈ ਤੇ ਨਦੀ ਕਮਾਈ ਦਾ ਧਿਆਨ ਧਰ ਕੇ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਜੀ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਬੋਲੋ ਜੀ ਵਾਹੇ ਗੁਰੂ ਪੰਜਾਂ ਤਖਤਾਂ ਸਰਬਤ ਗੁਰਦੁਆਰਿਆਂ ਦਾ ਧਿਆਨ ਧਰ ਕੇ ਬੋਲੋ ਜੀ ਵਾਹੇ ਗੁਰੂ ਪ੍ਰਥਮੇ ਸਰਬਤ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਜੀ ਕੀ ਅਰਦਾਸ ਹੈ ਜੀ ਸਰਬਤ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਜੀ ਕੋ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ 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 ਚਿਤ ਆਵੇ ਚਿਤ ਆਵਣ ਕਾ ਸਦਕਾ ਸਰਬ ਸੁਖ ਹੋਵੇ ਜਹਾਂ ਜਹਾਂ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਜੀ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਤਹਾਂ ਤਹਾਂ ਰਛਿਆ ਰਿਆਇਤ ਤੇਗ ਤੇਗ ਫਤਿਹ ਬਿਰਦ ਕੀ ਤੈਜ ਪੰਥ ਕੀ ਜੀਤ ਸ੍ਰੀ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੀ ਸਹਾਇ ਖਾਲਸੇ ਜੀ ਕੇ ਬੋਲ ਬਾਲੇ ਬੋਲੋ ਜੀ ਵਾਹੇ ਗੁਰੂ ਸਿੱਖਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਸਿੱਖੀ ਦਾਨ ਕੇਸ ਦਾਨ ਰਹਿਤ ਦਾਨ ਵਿਵੇਕ ਦਾਨ ਤੇ ਸਹਾ ਦਾਨ ਭਰੋਸਾ ਦਾਨ ਦਾਨਾ ਸਿਰ ਦਾਨ ਨਾਮ ਦਾਨ ਸ੍ਰੀ ਅੰਮ੍ਰਿਤਸਰ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੀ ਦੇ ਸ਼ਨਾਨ ਚੌਂਕੀਆਂ ਝੰਡੇ ਬੁੰਗੇ ਜਗੋ ਜਗ ਅਟਲ ਧਰਮ ਕਾ ਜੈਕਾਰ ਬੋਲੋ ਜੀ ਵਾਹੇ ਗੁਰੂ ਸਿਖਾਨਾ ਮਨ ਨੀਮਾ ਮਤ ਉੱਚੀ ਮਤ ਪਤਾ ਰੱਖਾ ਆਪ ਕਾਲ ਪੁਰਖ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ हे ਅਕਾਲ ਪੁਰਖ ਆਪਣੇ ਪੰਥ ਦੇ ਸਦਾ ਸਹਾਇ ਦਾਤਾਰ ਜੀਓ ਸ੍ਰੀ ਨਨਕਾਣਾ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਤੇ ਹੋਰ ਗੁਰਦੁਆਰਿਆਂ ਵਿੱਚ ਧਾਮਾਂ ਦੇ ਜਿਨ੍ਹਾਂ ਤੋਂ ਪੰਥ ਨੂੰ ਵਿਛੋੜਿਆ ਗਿਆ ਹੈ ਜੀ ਖੁੱਲੇ ਦਰਸ਼ਨੀਦਾਰ ਤੇ ਸੇਵਾ ਸੰਭਾਲ ਦਾ ਦਾਨ ਖਾਸ ਜੀ ਨੂੰ ਬਖਸ਼ੋ ਜੀ हे ਨਿਮਾਣਿਆਂ ਦੇ ਮਾਣ ਸਤਿਗੁਰੂ ਨੇ ਤਾਣਿਆਂ ਦੇ ਤਾਣ ਸਤਿਗੁਰੂ ਨੇ ਓਟਿਆਂ ਦੀ ਓਟ ਸਤਿਗੁਰੂ ਨੇ ਆਸਰਿਆਂ ਦੇ ਆਸਰੇ ਸੱਚੇ ਪਿਤਾ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਆਪ ਜੀ ਦੇ ਹਜ਼ੂਰ ਆਪ ਜੀ ਦੇ ਚਰਨਾਂ ਕਮਲਾਂ ਪਾਸ ਅਰਦਾਸ ਬੇਨਤੀ ਹੈ ਜੀ ਕਿ ਆਪ ਜੀ ਦੀ ਕਿਰਪਾ ਸਦਕਾ ਜੋ ਪੰਜਾਬ ਦੀ ਧਰਤੀ ਤੋਂ ਕਿਸਾਨ ਅੰਦੋਲਨ ਸ਼ੁਰੂ ਹੋਇਆ ਹੈ ਆਪ ਜੀ ਹੀ ਇਸ ਦੀ ਅਗਵਾਈ ਕਰ ਰਹੇ ਹੋ ਤੇ ਕਰਦੇ ਰਹਿਣਾ ਜੀ ਅੰਦੋਲਨ ਦੇ ਆਗੂਆਂ ਵਿੱਚ ਏਕਤਾ ਬਣਾਏ ਰੱਖਣੀ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਸਹੀ ਫੈਸਲੇ ਲੈਣ ਦੀ ਸਮਤ ਬਖਸ਼ਣੀ ਜੀ ਅੰਦੋਲਨ ਦੀ ਸਫਲਤਾ ਲਈ ਸੰਗਤਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਚੜ੍ਹਦੀ ਕਲਾ ਵਿੱਚ ਰੱਖਣਾ ਅੰਗ ਸੰਗ ਹੋ ਕੇ ਸਹਾਇਤਾ ਕਰਨੀ ਆਪ ਸੰਗਤਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਰਾਹ ਦਿਖਾਓ ਜੀ ਆਪ ਜੀ ਦੀ ਹਜ਼ੂਰੀ ਵਿੱਚ ਸੋਧਾ ਰਹਿਰਾ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਦਾ ਤੇ ਰਾਮਕਲੀ ਦੀ ਵਾਰ ਦਾ ਪਾਠ ਕੀਤਾ ਗਿਆ ਹੈ ਜੀ ਹੁਕਮਨਾਮਾ ਬਖਸ਼ੋ ਜੀ ਹੁਕਮਨਾਮਾ ਤੇ ਚੱਲਣ ਦੀ ਸਮਰਥਾ ਬਖਸ਼ੋ ਜੀ ਅੱਖਰ ਵਾਦਾ ਘਾਟਾ ਪੁਸਤਕ ਮਾਫ ਕਰਨੀ ਸਰਬਤ ਦੇ ਕਾਰਜ ਰਾਸ ਕਰਨੇ ਸਹੀ ਪਿਆਰੇ ਮੇਲ ਜਿਨਾ ਮਿਲਿਆ ਤੇਰਾ ਨਾਮ ਚਿਤ ਆਵੇ ਨਾਨਕ ਨਾਮ ਚੜ੍ਹਦੀ ਗਵਾ ਤੇਰੇ ਪਾਣੇ ਸਰਬਤ ਦਾ ਭਲਾ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕਾ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕੀ ਫਤਿਹ ਬੋਲੇ ਸੋਨਿਹਾ ਸਤਿ ਸ੍ਰੀ ਅਕਾਲ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕਾ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕੀ ਫਤਿਹ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੀਓ ਸਜਣ ਸਚਾ ਪਤ ਪਤਸ਼ਾ ਸਰਸ਼ਾ ਹਨਸ਼ਾ ਜਿਸ ਪਾਸ ਬੈਠਿਆ ਸੋਹੀਆ ਸਭ ਨਾਲ ਵਸਾ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਇੱਕ ਓੰਕਾਰ ਸਤਗੁਰ ਪ੍ਰਸਾਦ ਜਤ ਸ੍ਰੀ ਲਾਲਾ ਪੰਜਵਾ ਛੰਤ ਕਰ ਪਹਿਲਾ ਸ਼ਲੋਕ ਦਰਸ਼ਨ ਪਿਆਸੀ ਦਿਨ ਸਰਾਤ ਚਿਤ ਬੋਨਨੀ ਖੋਲਕ ਪਟ ਗੁਰ ਮਿਲਿਆ ਨਾਨਕ ਹਰ ਸੰਗ ਮੀਤ ਦਰਸ਼ਨ ਪਿਆਸੀ ਦਿਨ ਸਰਾਤ ਚਿਤ ਬੋਨਨੀ ਖੋਲਕ ਪਟ ਗੁਰ ਮਿਲਿਆ ਨਾਨਕ ਹਰ ਸੰਗ ਮੀਤ ਛੰ ਸੁਨਿਆਰ ਹਮਾਰੇ ਸਜਣ ਇੱਕ ਕਰੋ ਬਿਨੰਤਿਆ ਤਿਸ ਮੋਹਨ ਲਾਲ ਪਿਆਰੇ ਹੋ ਫਿਰੋ ਖੋਜੰਤਿਆ ਤਿਸ ਦਸ ਪਿਆਰੇ ਸਿਰ ਧਰੀ ਉਤਾਰੇ ਇੱਕ ਪੋਰੀ ਦਰਸ਼ਨ ਦੀਜੈ ਨੈਨ ਹਮ
नानक सुन बिनो सुहागन मुंह दस डिखा फिर कहया यार वे फिर अपन पाना किचनीसी चंदा यार बे तैरा व्या लालन मुंह दस कसना लालन ते पाया आप गवाया जैतन पाग मिठाने महा पकड़ ठाकुर हो कि गुण अवगण ना पछाने गुण हार तै पाया रंग लाल बनाया ते सबो किच सुहंदा ज नानक धन सुहागन साई जिस संग पतार जिस संग पतार बसंदा यार वे ने सुख सुखे दी सामे पाई वर लोड़ी दा आया वजी वदाई महा मंगल रस थिया रहस थिया फिर दयाल सद नव रंगया वड पाग पाया गुर मिलाया साध कै सत्संगया आसा मनसा सगल पूरी प्रया अंक अंक मिलाई मेरे मंत नानक सुख सुखे दी सा मैं गुर मिल पाई आसा मनसा सगल पूरी प्रया अंक अंक मिलाई मेरे मंत नानक सुख सुखे दी सा मैं गुर मिल पाई वाहे गुरु जी का खालसा वाहे गुरु जी की फतेह सोहिला राग गौरी दीप की महला पहला इको अंकार सतगुरु प्रसाद जयगढ़ कीरत आखिए करते का होए बिचारो तितकर गावो सोहिला शिवरो सृजनहारो तुम गावो मेरे निर्वा का सोहिला हो वारी तित सोहिले सदा सुख होए रहो नित नित जीड़े सवालियन देखेगा देवनहार तेरे दान कीमत न पवे तिस ताते कवन समार संबत सहा लिखिया मिलकर पावो तेल देव सजने सिसरिया जे होवे सैप सोमेल कर 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 एहो पोचा सदरी नित पवन सदन हर सिमरिए नानक से दे आवन रागा सो महला पला छे कर छे कर छे उपदेश कर कर एको वेस ने एक बाबा जाकर कर दे कि रे थोए सो करा कुते तो रहा बस यो जसिया करिया पर रति वारी मा हो सुरु जी को रते ने इतना ने कर दे के के ते वेस राग तनासवी महला पला गगन में था रफ जंती पगवन है तार का मंडल जनक मोती तूप मलालो पवन जबरो करे सगल बनाए फुलन ज्योति कैसी आरती होए पप खन्ना तेरी आरती अनहता शब्द वाजन पेरी रहाव सैस तब नैन नन नैन है तो एक को सैस मूरत नना एक तो ए सैस पद विवेलन एक पद गंदे सैस तब गंदे चलप मुहे सब में जोत उस जोत है सोए तिस्ते चाना सब में चान होए कुछ साखी जोत पर गट होए जोत उस पाए सो आरती होए हर चरण कवन मकलंत लोभत मनो अंधनु में आए प्यासा कृपा जल दे नानक सारे को हो जाते तेरे ना है वासा राकोड़ी पूर्वी महला चौथा काम क्रोध नगर बोह परया मिल साधु खंडल खंडा है पूरब लेख लेखे कुर पाया मन हर लेव मंडल मंडा है कर साधु अंजलि पन वड्डा है कर डंडौत पन वड्डा है रहाव साकत हर रस साध ना जानिया तिन अंतर हो मैं कंडा है ज्यों ज्यों चले चुबे दुख पावे चमकाल सह सिर डंडा है हर जन हर हर नाम समाने दुख जन्म मरण भव खंडा है अबनासी पुरख पाया परमेश्वर पोह सोप खंड ब्रह्मंडा है हम गरीब मस्किन प्रब तेरे हर राख राख वड वड्डा है जन नानक नाम आधार टेक है हर नाम में ही सुख मंडा है रा गौड़ी पूर्वी मेला पंजा करो बिनंती सुन मेरे मीता संत टहर की बेला इहा काट चलो हरा आगे बस न सहेला औकट दिनस नारे मन गुर मिल काज सवारे रहो ए संसार विकार संत में तरयो ब्रह्म ज्ञानी प्यावे रस अकथ कथा तिन जानी 
जाको आए सोए बहाजो हर गुर ते मन है बसेरा निच कर मैल पवो सुख सहज बहर न होए गो फेरा अंतर जामी पुरख बजाते सरदा मन की पूरे नानक दास इह सुख मांगे मुख पर संतन की पूरे अंतर जामी पुरख बजाते सरदा मन की पूरे नानक दास इह सुख मांगे मुख पर संतन की पूरे वाहिगुरु जी का खालसा वाहिगुरु जी का